How's it going there? I know, right? And Twitch! I mean, it goes up on, on the YouTube. I am- I am not multi-streaming, but, like, when pe- pe- people, like, it- No, I- I- SHIT! Oh, God! Ban it! We're- ban it! We gotta ban it. We gotta- No, look- look what I've done! Shit! Well, you know what, Goomba? What? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Speaking of- speak, Speaking of Nick, are you looking forward to petting a good dog while you're here? Okay, good, because I actually have a plan tomorrow. After your flight, we can go, and we can go walk along a beach with a dog. Right when you get here. How does that- how does- I no, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be nice tomorrow. No shit, it's supposed to be nice. But bring a light jacket, and sh I said a light jacket. Uh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no! I actually they can't hear you. One second. Uh, hold on, one second, one second, guys. I gotta. I no, they 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 can't. They couldn't hear all the hilarious jokes that were clearly being said. Son uh, of a bitch! I know, right? Oh, no. That's what happens when- You that's, ruined it. That's what happens when you forget to switch something over here. One second, go to properties, and we gotta go to default, and there we go. All the heresy. God damn it. Uh, yep. <laughs> yeah, uh, can they hear you now? I hope they can hear you now. I- uh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, Jack just yeah. said yes, we're good. Okay, yeah, now yeah. you can hear everybody? Uh -oh. Now you can hear oh, everybody. I believe Jack. Do you believe- oh man, that's bad. that is- that's- oh god, the bit drops are beginning here. Uh, are you ready? Probate- oh no! No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, 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 want to hear about the shit day I've had? Yeah, let's hear it. Nick, plug yourself and talk about the shit day you've had. Yeah, let's talk about the shit day I've had. Uh, my car, you know, I've been having a few issues with it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, like, basically, it's doing this weird thing where it thinks the key's in the ignition no matter what I'm doing, which won't let me lock it, and it drains the battery. Hell of a lot of fun. So I went and finally took it to a Subaru dealership. Guess how much they're offering to like fix it for me? Five thousand dollars. Oh fuck! Oh, oh not quite. Oh damn! Oh, oh. about. Okay. Eight. Let's see. Hold on. That how is... much is that? Oh. One, oh. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, oh, oh, 120, oh, oh, 130, oh, 140, 150, oh, 60, oh, 60, oh, 60, oh, that's five grand. That's five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, Okay, uh, basically what probate just dropped on you is how much it costs to fix my fucking car. Sorry, Lenny, I'm broke. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, let me just catch my breath. I took, oh my God, probate. Oh probate. my God. Jesus, fuck, As dude. As God is my witness, I would be broken in half. Ah! Hey, Nick, you want to go to All In? <laughs> Probate, you want to come to all in? Hey, you want a hey, talking? Do you want to pay for my car? <laughs> no, I don't. Like, I don't. I, I, I will not spend money on a Subaru. I have dignity. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. Oh my God! God. Have come uh, I'll, I'll be right back. What? No, Nick, oh, come back! He's going off to cry. No. Oh, I can't believe something. I can't... Something. Something tells me that oh. when Borky goes down, Digsby's just gonna look the other way. <laughs> Probate, what the? I couldn't sleep last night because I wasn't sure what he was plotting, so I had to Dude, ask him this morning. No, no I, I told you, like, hey, does anyone know what he's talking about? No, why? Oh, okay, I guess we're oh, fucking dark. Oh, 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 my God, I need to step away for a moment. I need to step away for a moment. I need this song. Fucking hell. So, um, probate's bit boss forever. Oh, um, yeah. He owns all our souls. I can't believe probate is the new raid boss. <laughs> really? Oh, oh, the snark! Holy shit, my dude! Oh my god! So what was that equivalent to? Like five grand? No, it's five thousand dollars. Probate's got to do. Look at his! Look at his! Look at his chair mode. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Just one second. Yes. Just one second. Yes. Oh, I feel faint. Holy crap. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't just, faint. Just oh. faint yourself. You have a fucking show to do! <laughs> yeah, come on. We're already late, Taka. High School Musical, get your head in the game. Come on. You gotta get your get, get, get head in the game. Also, Cherry, yes, I do believe he is dead. Is Probate yeah, the only one on Twitch, Twitch with that bit badge? No, there's know. others. He's one of the illustrious few, but there are others. 
He's he like is an, an elite club. Just, Does that come with a members only jacket? He just, he just fucking upgraded to like zone one status on United Flights. <laughs> Snake. Yes. Snake, please tell tell the people where they can find you. They can find me at Senile Snake on Twitter. They can find me at Senile Snake with a three instead of a knee at the end on Twitch. I am currently doing the Rocksmith 60 Day Challenge. Uh, uh, hoping to become uh, something along the lines of a Panic Grimtongue esque guitar player. I'm currently on day nine. How are your fingers? Uh, calloused. I'm back. Okay. Underneath Welcome the numbness, they kind of hurt. Welcome back. That's awesome. Kurt's dude. dead. I'm really happy to see oh. you proceeding through the game that is Rocksmith. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. Goomba, where can they yeah. find you? You can find me here Wait, at Gai Chin Real Goomba. quick, congrats on the 10 million subscribers, Goomba. Uh, I appreciate that. That's more of Matt's. That, that's more of Matt's accomplishment, but I appreciate it either way. Um, I do want to say though, I have just recently hit partnership with Twitch. That's the thing. I'm so yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey! Congrats on that. Hey! So, I don't. So, that was such a slog for you to get, and I'm yes. super happy you finally got it. That was like eight months in the making. But uh, no, I tried to put in uh, an emote for my freaking D-pad shuriken. And real life people on Twitch are saying that I can't use it because it looks too much like an X. So I'm like, screw it. So I've got eight in the I've got eight in the works. If you guys want to swing by, uh, I just got done doing a whole bunch of Warframe. I'm going to test out God of War. There's a couple new ninja mm. games coming out. I'm just really psyched about the next couple of days. Nice. Cool. 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 Nick. Yo. Hi, Nick. Hey, Taka. I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a little. That was so calm. <laughs> I've, 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 I've had. Uh, sorry, I, I've had a day, and then like juxtaposing it with that massive bit drop, I needed to go take a breath. Oh. Uh, I. Yeah. Food's on me while you're here. I mean that. Are you both alive right now? <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's got I eerie like all of a sudden. I broke down I know, into a sweat. I don't know why. I'm just sweating profusely right now as if something's going to happen. I don't... Welcome to my world, child. Live in the moment and just talk, man. Let's go. Okay, okay. Nick, where can they Nick, find your Nick. Twitch stream? You've been stre you streamed from uh, VR can, Skyrim uh, today. Yeah, I actually just started. Yeah, sorry. Uh, still pulling myself together. I uh, started streaming some uh, VR Skyrim earlier. Had some fun role playing just in the first person on that. Uh, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Lanny Pator. Lanny Pator everywhere else on YouTube and all the fun things. Uh, Are you going to play? Uh, I know I know you're, you play Stardew Valley on your stream. Are you going to do anything with multiplayer when it supposedly comes as soon, out? As soon as, it, as soon as it comes out and uh, it's working properly. Mm -hmm. I, am, I, like, I am like super late game on that one, though. So it's like it's starting to stretch thin for me. Hopefully it yeah. comes out soon because I'd love to be able to play with my wife some. That'd be fun, yeah. yeah I'm looking said, forward to it, too. Uh, they said the people who are testing it in the beta um it's going it's going pretty good so hopefully it should be out soon so cool. if they said sometime around the either the end or the start of next month Ooh. oh probate, probate. No. now can we get tough body monty <laughs> no oh. <laughs> <laughs> but love awesome. you probate but I no mean, the v I'm like, <laughs> you can handle vr nick that's fuck i can't but i'm glad you can there are some mm. things money can't buy for everything else, there's toys. Um, they can buy a car. <laughs> Sorry. That, God damn it. This is affecting me way worse than I thought it would. I'm just going to shut up for a bit. Sorry. It's okay. You, it's, 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 you can fix it. It'll, it'll, it'll be a problem for a bit, and then it'll be fixed, and then yeah. it'll be happen. Uh, at, at the very least, at least you don't have to go get your driver's license again. I already got that renewed. Don't worry about that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, plus, if, if an... Yes. Sorry, sorry, you Monty. Can I find me. Zito, we, oh. we, no, it's okay. It's okay. Zito, what, what's going on over on Zito's stream? Uh, Zito stream. Uh, if you haven't seen the emote going on in the stream, we're commands and the wiggling. 
We've got Monster Hunter's new update coming out tomorrow. Debating on if I'm going to do that or Art Stream. If I do do that tomorrow, Art Stream will be pushed to Friday. Sunday, I need to start playing some other wacky dacky indie games. So I'm going to start doing some hunting for that. But also, I'm that that might be cut short a little bit or might start a lot later because I'm working on a game jam. So I'm doing the artwork for two games. So my time's a little preoccupied on that. Yeah, it's a lot of work. And Monty, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter and you can find me at uh, twitch.tv sort of, uh, the, huh forward slash Monty Glue uh, on Twitch. Um, I've been doing art streams and I also busted open a uh, Pokemon Emerald Buzzlock, which has been pretty fun actually. We've had two two giant deaths. We've lost our good friend Hot Dog and we've also <laughs> lost Skinny, so. Stop naming things after delicious things. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay, no, it's okay because I, that that's yeah. up there with me calling one of my Pokemon dad legs. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. No, we Dad have a hot hands. dog. Well, we had hot dog. Hot dog died. He got dropped on the floor, so he's not used to play. <laughs> Damn, you, know, you didn't pick him up after five seconds. Yeah, I was going to no. say it. I was going to say it. Oh, my Lord. We uh, but so far, our party consists of Pizza Hut, the uh, Kadabra, <laughs> um, tur um, Turkey Legs, the Combuskin. Um, Turkey and, legs. uh, wait, I'm trying to remember the- Oh, we have Fleur de Mort, who's in the party, he's How Scottish. How dare you? <laughs> uh, I'm and then we happens. have- We have a Loudred named Yelvis, and he's the particular <laughs> favorite <laughs> of mine. So, yeah, no, we're Yelvis is okay. a great name for a Loudred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I saw it, I'm like, I know exactly what I'm gonna name this, but- I, No, it's been fun, and then we got art streams tomorrow, oh my, I think, on Thursday, oh so. My God. There's so many people in the chat actually saying the names of my Pokemon that died in my Nuzlocke. Like, they're saying Pointy Boy, <laughs> Dad Legs, remember. like, holy shit! They remember, they remember. Okay, real fast, no, I gotta no, proceed no, through some of these bit drops and subs real quick here, guys, before okay, we get- super fast, because we're already 10 minutes in, Yeah, yeah, so. it, is, it is true. Uh, guys, just so you know, Streamlabs sucks, and now I'm missing a bunch of them. I do apologize if I have miss, if I miss these. So, let me just go this through lightning around here. <sighs> S1 Rustev, Ross, thank you for the Twitch Prime, thank you for the sub. Uh, Coleman000, thank you for the sub. Uh, come on, come on, come on. McFly underscore AF, thank you for the sub. Ron One Flu, thank you for the sub. Kryven One, thank you for the 10-month resub. Won't be able to watch you long doing camp with coworkers. Good luck. No worries, thank you so much. <clears throat> Admiral Flippy, thank you for the 5-month resub. Well, this is all I got. Hey, 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 none of that, none of that. 345 bits, Simon the Pyro, thank you so much. Hmm, well, it seems like I just got to look how much power I will need to topple the god of profit. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you so much. Quit the kid, thank you for the 520 bits. Be uh, ba uh, I can't give too much, but help take down probate no matter what. Back card, 300 bits, well, I can't beat that. Knack uh, Knackle Polly, thank you for the 1500 bits. Bits for everyone, everyone, I say. The Armored Owl, 9 month resub. Thanks for the incredible time you guys give us every week. Hey, no worries. TNT Text, X1234. Thank you for the six month resub. Yeah, boy, you guys the rest. Best, the best, fuck. Primordial Kitty, thank you for the three month resub. Jock5225, thank you for the four month resub. Fightess626, thank you for the 500 bits as well. Ooh, Joint Streams, thank you for the rehost. Really appreciate that. Uh, Seb Tensha, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Uncle Bane Man, thank you for the 11 month resub. Do you guys ever think the moon looks down at us and think why are we why are, why are, why are we flat? <clears throat> Shit. Comfy Couch, one, thank you for the for the sub. Uh, and probate. Thank you for uh, say it the five hundred thousand bit drop. What the. F Fuck! <laughs> All right, let's play some D and D. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Meanwhile. Yes. 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 <laughs> I need to read my mind, Bart. Pathetic. When last we left our heroes, Sporky the Orc Barbarian, Freckles the Kenku Rogue, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Task the Cobalt Ranger, and a newfound friend in Digsby the Turtle Paladin, the party had entered a decrepit yet occupied castle. After fending off offensive suits of armor, freeing captive horses, tripping traps and being ambushed by a chef brigade of bugbears and an impressive sauce boss, the party inched closer to their quarry, a flux orb that could help create a teleportation circle to Alabats, 
After investigating an ooze-infested room, the party threw open a chest, only to discover a maw of teeth and a small pack of hungry mimics. Real quick, uh, so, you, 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 you said heroes and you referenced Greckles. I disagree with that assertion. <laughs> Shush! <laughs> See, you uh, only hate me because you love me. Nice, true. Uh, Greckles, before this starts, I need uh -huh. you to roll a uh, acrobatics check for me uh -huh. as uh -huh. you touch the chest. Uh -huh. <laughs> 17. 17, all right. You, you don't manage to stick to it, which is good, but it's still gonna get an attack on you. Yeah, so, I read up what these bastards do and you're horrible. <laughs> they eat birds specifically. Uh, no, they eat everything. Birds specifically though. So, they birds a lot. The one in front of you, that is an 18, oh wait, no, that's no, that's an 18 to hit you. To hit? 100. <laughs> so are we, fighting, are we fighting three mimics in the room, correct? Yes, yes we are. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's three I have, I, I, have an, I have an AC of 16, so yeah, you're good. All right. Uh, you take eight points of bludgeoning damage. Huzzah, that's a third of my health. <laughs> All right, and you pass the adhesive check. All right, the other mimic behind you is going to walk over the corpse towards you. Teeth lolling out is going to attempt to bite you. That is a 14 to hit you. That misses. Okay, and this one here, seeing the delicious orc, yeah, orc. is going to attack. That is not going to hit. That's an eight. So it leaps and gnashes with teeth. It's kind of walking on these legs made out of wood. I need everybody to now roll initiative. The surprise round is now over. How, ti wow. how tiny are the mimic's legs, by the way? Ooh, uh, it's, it's basically the keg is on a stand, so it's the actual keg stands like legs. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be goofy. That's it's awesome. very goofy. Uh, all right, so that looks like we have Grapple's. I first. rolled a nine so for I, my I, initiative. I, I like Eight to imagine nine. that they're peep that they're human people feet <laughs> attached, <laughs> attached, attached to the keg. <laughs> How hairy are the feet, though, Vito? Oh, super, super hairy. Nice. Italian uh, Harry. Ooh. I'm gonna assume between panic and task with your guys' initiative rolls that task you have the higher dexterity. Sure yeah. do. Okay, task, and then panic, and now for the task. Oh, task goes right after you, so that task. And then the mimics now. They don't think they have a very good initiative. Actually, they have a plus one initiative. So that's just like those boys. <laughs> what, what, All what, right. Would panic know about this because he's down the hallway? What's um, okay. You probably oh, hear something. You'd have to hold, roll a perception check, actually. Oh, so I'll say panic, roll a perception check to see if you hear what's going on. Should be quiet. <laughs> a lot of hissing. That is okay, 10. You don't hear anything, and I'm going to roll for our two friends neighboring the no! battlefield. Oh, God. Uh, okay. All right, so back to combat. Greckles, you are up first. All right, the only thing I can do is um, get the hell out of dodge, so I will take a defensive stance and move out the way. So you're going to disengage as bonus action? Yep. Okay. That is base speed or half? I can't remember. Uh, it's your full speed, so you basically... Uh, oh. Yeah, so it's your base speed, so it's it's basically you have 40 feet of movement, so you can disengage and move 40 feet. And after being after move. being gnashed in the arm, I run, I, I run out... Actually, no, I don't do that. I don't want to do that. Um, so that's only a bonus action? To disengage for you is you can do it as a bonus action, yes. Okay, so, uh, so I've still got an attack, correct? Yeah, you can attack, yeah. Alrighty. Let's throw a dart at the boy just to the very far north, which is the furthest south in the room, for those of you listening to the podcast. Yeah, so the one that was a keg that popped around behind you. Yes. Wouldn't that be horrible, like you're at a frat party? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, it just get gross teeth. All right, that's a 24 to hit. That absolutely hits there. Take me, shot! <laughs> that is eight damage. Okay, eight damage. Yeah, you hit it. There's a solid thunk noise as you manage to hit the mimic in the side. And it actually begins to spill out liquid. Um, you don't know what it is, but you don't want to know what it is. Um, but you do manage to hit it on your way out. Oh, I already fell. <laughs> does that end your turn? Yes. All right, Digsby, you are up. Currently, there's a chest next to you that now lumbers, kind of like rocking back and forth. You're as it kind of turns to face you, mouth open, 
giant tongue lolling off, uh, lolling around, as well as two kegs that are walking on their stands now, kind of stalking towards you. All right, I'll drop the books I was picking up. Okay, all uh, the green books clatter to the ground. Taking out my shovel and swing down upon the one that's directly in front of me now. Okay, it's currently got a couple feathers between its teeth. Uh, but yeah, that absolutely hits. All right, nice. Uh, yeah, 25 to hit and six Five. damage magic. Yeah, because you also have your plus one still. You'd still yep. have that up. All right, so six points of damage. That brings it to that much. You bring down and there's like kind of a weird mixture of like a, a splintering noise as well as kind of a fleshy sound as your, your shovel does kind of go through the top of it. And as you pull it up, there's kind of this viscous kind of purple red liquid attached to it as you pull back. And it kind of, <laughs> kind of like gurgles as you retreat back. You yeah, gonna attack again? Yeah, as I'm doing this thing, what you're seeing here is basically a brief moment of lucidity. <laughs> Every time I swing the shovel. 10 to hit, or 11 to hit. 11 to hit, you just barely miss. You go to swing again, but the chest itself has like a metal sort of part to it that kind of keeps the form together. And your shovel just clink, hits that. There's sparks fly along with radiant energy and sadly it does not hit. I feel myself slipping a bit away. Alrighty, that brings it to their turn. The, the chest mimic now, kind of angered, is going to attempt to attack you. That is a 17 to hit you. Uh, hit me? No. No? I thought no. your AC was 17. It's 19. Oh, the right, because of the shield. That's right, that's right, that's right. Okay, so the other one here uh, is actually going to chase you, Greckles. <laughs> Uh, task, task. At this point, now you turn and you see this thing now, like starting to like actually gallop closer to you. Oh. Now. Making Fred Flintstone noises. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that will end its turn, and then Borky, the one next to you, the keg next to yeah. you, is going to attempt to bite you. Is, is, the, is the keg full or empty? Uh, it's, there's some sloshing noises, so maybe half of Perhaps I could drink it to death. Uh, oh my god. There's a 19 hit oh, you. Oh, that totally hits me. Okay. Okay, oh, that's not bad. You take five points of piercing damage as it bites into you. And then you take an additional uh, four points of acid damage no! as it begins to drool out. The liquid inside is now stinging your flesh. Hey, ow! I dropped me books. Yeah, all your books dropped to the ground. All right, uh, that ends their turn. That brings it to you, Borky. It's now your turn. Borky, Borky's been, Borky's been bitten by a cask of ale. Uh, there's no way I, a cask of ale wounded me. That don't make a lick of sense. I'm the one who empties a cask of ale. And I guess this time of blood, cool pose. And Borky pulls out his ax. All right. And, uh, I mean, my rages were reset, right? Yeah, you guys had a long oh, rest, excellent. so. Excellent, Borky goes into a rage. All oh. right, you go into a rage. Borky pounds his chest, and Borky pulls out uh, his uh, his great axe. Time to chop me up some kindling. And yeah. swing down. 19. That, that hits. Oh, that nat one on the other Ooh. side. Yeah. 15. That is plus oh. two. 17 points of damage. One second, let me calculate that. So that brings you down to, oh my lord. All right, you smash and you like actually like kind of break off, like it has like a, like, you know how they have like the um, faucet on the front? Yeah. You basically like hit that and you carve that off and it goes flying through the air and lands uh, into what remains of the ooze and melts its away. Uh, it seems badly hurt. Um, uh, would you like to attack again? Bartender! Another! And Borky swings his axe again. Fifteen. Okay. Fifteen? Uh, that hits, yeah. And... Thirteen plus 13 two. Thirteen plus five. So that's fifteen points of damage. Oh my lord. You just, you guys watch as Borky just kakong, 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 bangs into this thing. Uh, panic, roll another perception check. There that is a uh, natural one. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> you were like thinking about, yeah, maybe, maybe 
blue would be a nice color for her backdrop for the, the stage. Like that would be, no, 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 not blue, red, red. It's gotta go with red. Maybe, maybe, maybe like a green. Like you're kind of like in thought at the moment. <laughs> Um, I, is it wrong that I just imagine, like, just panic focused up on the camera and just in the background, out of focus, you just see lots of shit getting thrown out that room, and Greg goes, ah, ah, ah! <laughs> mm, what the <laughs> do? <laughs> uh, that brings it to you, Task. Lovely shade of mahogany. All right, well, I'm gonna move back. I'm gonna command Tarisk to, uh, take my place. Uh, uh, actually, stand next to Greckles, wait for this thing to, uh, to walk up to him to attack. Okay, don't in- so, so don't, back. don't, yeah, don't advance, let it come to you. Okay. And I'm gonna move back here and take a shot. Which one are you aiming for? The one that's right, that chased after Greckles. The one that's chasing after Greckles? Okay. Hooey ha! 26. That absolutely hits. All right, so did it, this thing take damage already or yes, no? it did. It did, it okay, took a turn, so. So that's 17, 18, 19, 20. That's, that's 20, 20 points of damage. Woo, woo. Yeah, 20 points of damage. Woo! Second shot. 15. That hits. All righty. They're kind of big to, to hit. 18 points of damage. You take one shot through and it begins to just start spilling out. Then you take another shot and you shoot it right sort of in the key point and it, you managed to kind of hit it right through the body where you hit the ring on the from the inside that's holding it together and that pops off and the entire thing just spills open like inside out and you see the organs of all the liquid inside and it kind of just spills open it kind of loses its form like kind of a gross disgusting like a, like a stomach almost that was just popped open uh and it is quite thoroughly dead huh i never killed one of these things before neat uh, Tarisk is still going to do as you say. He's going to defend uh, Greckles at the moment. He's going to yes. kind of growl and stand next to him. Uh, Panic, it is now your turn. You have no idea what's going on behind hmm. you. Is there any way I could use, like, Face Slicer's sheath to, like, block this door from opening? Uh, it's... It's a, it's, it's not, it's like inset into the door. Uh, probably not, because Face okay. Slicer A, even, even if Face Slicer was together, it probably wouldn't hold. Okay, so, um. You could, you could put something there, but. Is there, is there, slicer. is there like a ridge on top of like the door? Because I'm going to, I'm going to do like a school prank thing with, with a, except it won't be. <laughs> like a bucket of water? There is. Ex uh, sort of, but it'll be alchemist fire. Ooh. It's um, it's framed inside of kind of like a big stone, like brick sort of door. So the door itself is inside. There's no way to actually put something on top of it unless the door was open. Okay. Um, um, so then I'm going to use my. I'm going to going to use a little bit of my uh, my spindle of silk. Okay. Uh, I'm going to slightly pull the cork out of my alchemist fire and then tie the end of the string to the doorknob and the other end to the cork. Okay, so, so you're gonna have door... it like you're yeah, gonna so have this... like it open up and then pop. Okay. Yeah. I will I will draw out your your, your eloquent trap here. Uh could you roll just a quick dexterity check for me? Okay. Dexterity check. Yeah, just a straight dexterity check. Just to set this up real fast. Okay, yeah, you, you managed to set it up. You, you kind of have it, you're kinda like you're <laughs> um... <laughs> gonna die if they open this door. Um, oh, all right, let's sit. What's going on? Okay. Um, as luck would have it, uh, the door is opened, uh, and a bugbear does come running out. Can you roll your alchemist fire for me? Uh, did you give me the stats for it? Uh, it should be in your inventory unless it didn't work again. One second, let me check. It might not have worked because this is the world we live in. Uh, I'm so certain I put it in here. What the heck? Okay, one second. Let me find Alchemist Fire. It's in. I know it's the compendium. All right, Alchemist Fire. So you hit him. Um, on a hit, the target takes one d far fire di damage at the start of each of its turns. Whoa. Um, so roll one d four points of fire damage because he ran right into that. Okay. That is two. Okay, so the bugbear comes running out and immediately you hear a 
and fire erupts, and the bugbear's like kind of furry body just ignites into flames. He's wet. He's got a towel around his waist. And immediately is set on fire. So he's not having a really good day. Well, at least he's dry. Alkyok. Well, not really. Not really with Alchemist Fire, but you know. <laughs> Since he's distracted uh, f by being on fire, can I kind of like back up without him taking no, an attack on me? No, he, he is very much now aware of you. And uh, he is, because he's moved his full movement, he does get an action on you. Oh, good. Uh, so he's going to punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> to. I mean, I can't help but feel you deserve uh, this. Yeah, he doesn't have a weapon on him right now. Um, He's wearing a towel. Uh, that, is, that is a nine to hit you. Nope. All right, he swings and you just manage to duck out of the way uh, as he as he tries to punch you in the face. Do the split to punch him in the uh, nuts. <laughs> uh, the other one. Uh, the other one's gonna make its way out now, hearing the commotion. Uh, also wearing a towel and like and like weird bugbear Crocs. You have no idea. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. It also has like a martini glass in their other hand. Like they're holding a martini glass and they're like holding the towel with the other hand. And they come hobbling out, kind of like rah, like yelling. Really hey, got any more in there? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I just. This is supposed to be threatening, but I can't. I just don't feel it. I, I, I can't help. I've accepted that this is all. This is low key a cartoon D and D campaign. I'm just. You know, fucking. Uh, you know. Yakety sax encounter. Um. Uh, it is now. Uh. Greco, it's now your turn again. God, money. Like. <laughs> yes. I. I. I don't even know where to start with this. <laughs> well. Okay. All right. You know, sometimes you make things you think they're gonna go one way, they don't, and then you have to improvise. You know, that's where we're at right now. No, no, no. I feel you. I feel you. It's it's definitely interesting. So, all right, uh, I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna since this guy is preoccupied with Borky, I'm gonna go uh, toss me some darts at it. All right. Yeah. That is a that twenty. Hits. That absolutely hits. Uh, do I get my sneaky damage? Yes, you do because all he's right. currently Let's occupied with Borky. Dart is seven, seven plus seven. one, two, three. Oh god, I wish there was a d20. Ah, uh, sixes. Well, bam! That's another twelve. So, nineteen that points is... of damage. Not bad, not bad. You actually throw a dart right through it. You go, and it goes right through kind of the key point, and you kind of hit it near the bottom, and it actually like cracks in half between its two. Like it has two sets of legs because it's on a stand. You hit it right in the middle and you hear this resounding crack noise as it buckles under the its own weight of the liquid inside and like spills open uh, from the bottom, like cracks and like can't get up. And it crawls towards you, Borky, like it's trying to get at you. And then eventually it just lulls into death. Hey, Greckles. That is mine. Deal with it. We got bigger fish to fry. Borky just does that. He puts his thumb on his hand and just goes. <laughs> okay. Um, and then, ba -ba 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 -ba. oh no, I need that thing. There we go. I'm going to, assuming, yeah, I, I know there's only one more left in there, so I'm going to make my way over. Actually, I'm sorry, let me measure this you out. Step on Taurus, what are you doing? I'm not trying to step on the good boy. <laughs> hey, uh, quick question, actually, I, I wanted to ask you, Monty, on this. Uh, is yeah. walking through an allied occupied space consider just normal movement you can walk through them but you can't stay on top of them right that's, right that's the rule that's yeah okay okay i moved i am good okay that ends your turn mm -hmm. all right digsby it's now your turn I swing the shovel swing nice, the shovel. That hits. Four to hit seven damage seven damage not bad not bad swing it again uh, 11 again you swing the first one, you actually hear, like, you actually go through it, and you're like, what did I just do? And you notice the hinge of the chest is now slacked and off. You broke through the hinge of its jaw, uh, but it's still kind of ambitiously going towards you. You kind of swing again to hit it, and you bring it down, and it has, like, a tongue at you. are aiming for the tongue, but it just quickly sucks in the tongue, and you just ping, you hit the ground, and it just lulls it back out, kind of raspberries at you. Um, so kind of taunting you a little bit. Cheeky. And that ends your turn there? Yep. Okay. 
Uh, the Mimic's turn. Uh, seeing your miss is once again, it's actually gonna go for a uh, pseudopod attack. Can you explain what a pseudopod is for those of you, for those of us that don't know? It is a, a, a pod of pseudo and- <laughs> Well done, well done. <laughs> a, a part of a pod, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so he's gonna go for you with his tongue, um, and that is a plus. That is a twenty-one to hit you. That'll do. Okay, uh, and then I need you to make a athletics or acrobatics check of your choice. That's gonna be athletics. Being the turtle boy, I is eleven. Uh, okay, you are now grappled by it, um, and it deals seven points of damage to you, bludgeoning damage. As you watch Borky, as poor Digsby. This mimic kind of leaps on top of him and just kind of like grabs his neck with the tongue oh. and is now holding on to you, kind of gnashing into your face, Digsby. And though you're trying to retreat into your shell, he's got you right there, caught by the neck. Uh. Oh. Uh, that ends its turn. You are now grappled. Uh, okay, sorry, just double checking things. Uh, all right. Morky, it is now your turn. You currently see your best friend Digsby be eaten nice. hey, by a giant chest. Call him Diggs. Borky's friend Diggs. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, Borky uh, V triggers into him. No, Borky's gonna pull out that axe. <laughs> seeing, his, seeing his friend in damage, Borky's gonna run up behind that thing and flank it. Nice. Borky's gonna go. Wait, Borky's oh. gonna flank that bad boy. Borky's gonna spin that axe and go into it like kind of like a bay blade top. Borky's gonna swing that axe okay. right down behind it. And that is A19. That hits. And 14 plus two for rage and flanking. What does flanking get me? Uh, plus uh, two to hit. Plus two to oh, hit. okay, well that yeah. definitely hit. Uh, that's 14 plus two, that's 16. That brings it down to, that's two, that's two. Can I pull it, can I pull it off? Uh, that would take a full action to oh, do. Oh, I still have. Better to just kill it. I better no. have, but I know, but it has to yeah. like grapple. Can I pull him off of him though? With a. Uh... You could help. You could. You could help him. You could make the help action to help him get out of the that grapple. Would take one of my action slots. Uh, but it is. But you already just did an action. You're doing your multi attack, so you oh, have to. Oh, really? like, I can't separate the. Oh, oh, you already attacked. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I apologize. Hey yeah. guys, we've been playing this game for how many episodes? I didn't know that. Okay. It's fine. I've. I'm still learning a lot, before, before, so I'm sure yeah. anyone who plays this game always learns. The, the, chest, so. the chest is still alive. That's impossible! I have to hit it yeah. really, really hard! And Borky swings down again! Digs! That one! Oh, no. No. <laughs> I'm going to roll severity for this That's one. This could be either very, very bad or even worse. Okay. Digsby's having a rough ah. day. You are having a rough day. Borky's about to have a rough oh. day. Oh no! Uh, as you you swing and you do hit the mimic, but you hit it right in the spot where it begins to just gush the acid innards that it has in its body. Oh no! I'm, and being, it I'm, just being, I'm being evil deaded. You are. Uh, you take. Oh, okay, that's not a ton. You take six points of acid ah! damage as it just. You just. It's just like you hit it and you're like, oh, I immediately regret that decision. Okay. And just some of its organs gush out onto you, uh, burning your skin. Uh, I assume that ends your turn. <laughs> yes, it does. I'm just imagining the scene where Borky hits it, hears a weird sound like Ash from Evil Dead 2 looking into the hole in the wall, and just being just blood. <laughs> yeah. More or less, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Task, it is now your turn. Oh boy. <laughs> right? <laughs> Uh, I'm starting to see that, uh, there might be more danger with Panic, our resident tank, dealing with <laughs> two bugbears. So, I'm gonna focus shot on that. I think Borky's got this covered. Oh, it's in, oh, <laughs> it's in, it's in my shoes! It's in me galoshes! Oh, god damn it! fine. No, 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 help, help, <sighs> help, Panic. Ta Taurus. I, I order Taurus to go help out Panic. Okay. I I will. Okay. How about this? Can I shoot two separate targets from where I'm standing for one base uh, attack? Uh, you can shoot over Taurus. You know what? Yeah, I'll say yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, I'll be nice. I don't. All right. So there's we'll take... rules for cover, but this is fine. I don't care. 
I'm not really using I'm not really using no. cards for cover. No, uh, I just mean like there's stuff there's stuff kind of in your way, but it doesn't matter. I will say the one Actually no, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. Alright, take a shot at the mimic first. Okay. Sixteen. Uh you do like the sniper thing where you kinda angle on Tarisk's back as he's getting ready to move. You're just like, hold on a minute, and just kinda angle your bow on him and you let loose the arrow. You do hit, roll for damage, and you have Colossus Slayer. 16. Yes, 16 points, not bad, not bad. You shoot it, you hear a solid thunk, you don't know what happened, whether it's still alive or not. Uh, Dixby, it is definitely still alive in, from your perspective. Um, and then and you, an arrow pointing <laughs> you swivel your bow and you step around Taurus and you aim for the bugbear, I assume in front of Panic at the moment, currently on yes, fire. The, the one who took damage, yes. Yeah, he is very blue at the moment, he is, he is caught oh! on <laughs> 16. That hits. Oh wait, yeah, no, that does hit. They're not wearing armor. Uh, not a good roll though. Six plus three, so that's nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. That's still nothing to sneeze at. Uh, All right, yeah, you managed to shoot him, and then he like you shoot him in the shoulder. He goes, and then just the arrow just poof, goes into fire as well. He just gets angrier about that. <laughs> not just. <laughs> um, I assume that ends your turn. It is now Tarisk's turn. Yep, uh, go go help out, go help out your uh, your taller father. He is going to dash uh, towards them. He's going to end up right there, uh, and I believe. Nope, he's going to move actually right there. Never mind, sorry. Um, that takes up his full action, so he can't attack sadly because he dashed. Um, that brings you to Panic. Hey, Panic, you are you have a bugbear currently. You've just been shot with an arrow. He looks down at the arrow and then looks down to you and just, his, his face just crinkles up. Um, I would say that... Uh, okay, so it's on his turn. He takes the damage. All right, so it is your turn. Hmm, what to do, what to do. You just hear crackling as he's just staring down at you. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like he maybe was doing a facial or something. There's well, some I, remnants of something. I don't want them near me. <laughs> so I'm going to pull out the pipes of haunting. Okay. Uh, I'll put that for you. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Pipes of haunting. And so this is a wisdom saving throw. All right. DC is wisdom saving throw. Okay. They have pluses to wisdom. That is a 17 for this one here. And that one is a 12. So this guy fails. The guy who's on fire is now scared of the person who set him on fire. <laughs> from a because, horrible day. Now, because he's scared of me, he won't take an opportunity attack on me. Uh, let me look up the condition of being frightened and double check that. I believe... I don't think um, he can attack you. I think that's... Something. Yeah, I, be I believe he has to, like, do whatever he can to get away from me, and I think attacking me would be counterintuitive. Yeah, let's find out. I will look that up real fast. If I can find the page. Uh, where are conditions? Three hit points. Uh, sorry, I'm slowing down combat here. Okay, I gotta look it up in the compendium. Combat, saving throws, spell list, material plane. I'm just gonna, what? All right, one second, sorry. Uh, a frightened creature has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of its fear is within line of sight. The creature willingly can't move closer to the source of its fear. So he can still attack you. Good. Technically, he can't still attack you. Uh, uh, but he has disadvantage on his attack to do it. Yeah. So. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna look back at Greckles and be like, "Hey, what the fuck happened to you?" <laughs> uh, I guess mm, I'll I'll healing word Greckles. Okay. That's seven healing. Greckles gives a talons up. Eight. Da -da -da. I like to fire. I like to imagine the the fuck happened to you is the healing word. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty <fun. laughs> well, I mean, you do. You do. I, I just point and the healing magic comes out of my finger. <laughs> you're like, oh, whoops. 
Alright. Uh, do you want to roll a 1d4 for your fire? <laughs> yes. Roll... That's five. There we go. That's nice. four! <laughs> That's four, not bad. Alrighty. Uh, he is gonna... He's gonna move away from you, uh, giving you an attack of opportunity as he runs <laughs> screaming. Well, I don't have a weapon. You could punch him. All right, I'll punch him. <laughs> All right, roll a strength check for me. I'm a little surprised that your barb thingy doesn't act as a weapon. Sadly it not. does, but it's very specific. Yeah. Uh, and I don't want to grab a guy who's on fire. <laughs> no. resistant, resistant though I am to, to fire. Roll a strength, just a strength. Just a straight strength check. <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> he like runs and he gets like 10 feet away and you're like, Eh, you punched the air. Yeah, take that. <laughs> you better uh, run. But he is going to run, and then he is going to do a dexterity check to try and pat out the alchemist's fire. Does Taurus get a attack of He does as well, yeah. And he fails to pat out the fire, which is interesting. <laughs> uh, he tries to pat himself out his hands, catch on fire. Oh, buddy. <gasps> Taurus, Taurus cooled a natural one. Oh, no. Um, oh, no, um, Taurus is on fire. So I'm going to roll severity. Okay, That's well, he's going to... He's, I'm gonna roll fire damage for Taurus. Okay, he took a little bit. He took one point of fire damage, poor buddy. Uh, one whopping hit point. Uh, he like bites, you hear ah! when he kind of like, he realizes his mistake. Like this is just the place of mistakes for Taurus because he bites onto things really. I just, I, I just imagine he tried to bite but missed and the guy like just tripped over his face and rolled over him. <laughs> and like, just like the, the, snout of his, the snout of his horn is on fire, like, ow. In fact, you know what make this funny? I'm gonna say this. As the uh, this guy's trying to pat out the fire, as he runs past his buddy, the buddy with the martini glass throws the martini on him, and then the fire just <laughs> whoosh, gets more intense. <laughs> and the bugbear's just like like shit and throws down the glass. Uh, he is going to move towards you, Panic, though. Uh, you know, that was a waste of good alcohol. <laughs> it really was. Um, he's gonna try and punch you. Uh, that's a natural choice. <laughs> Great! Oh god, crit punch! It's a critical punch. Um, so that doubles a d4. Or no, it's a d2, technically. Because he's not proficient with fists. Um, so it's a 1. And that's a 1, so that's a 2, plus the strength modifier, which is a 3. So that's 5 points of punching damage as he punches you just right in your face. Oh, right in the schnoz. Ow! Ah, oh, my fucking nose, dude! Oh my... This, uh, is this, is this uh, turning into a... Sorry. He's gonna punch you with his other hand. Uh, 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 roll. <laughs> uh, does a 15 hit you? Let me... Uh, it meets my armor class. It, then he hits you. Um, and that is another one plus three. That's another four points of punching damage as he once again punches you in the face. Oh, my, my fucking nose, <laughs> dude. This is a vaudeville act. I was gonna say, I just imagine this being a slap fight with a bugbear and a towel in panic. <laughs> panic, a panic just yeah. looks up like, looks up with a bloody nose. It's like, ah, oh, what the, uh, you, what, you want to be on fire too? Fine, hell <laughs> Okay. Jeez. Also, he dropped the towel oh! uh, because his oh! hands had to be oh, free. His towel's nice. dropped. Uh, <laughs> it's really not. Uh, hellish Perduke was there. Yeah, was Hellish Perduke. Oh. That is, um... Oh, boy, oh. 18 fire damage? That is 18 fire damage. Roll a dexterity save as uh, well. Oh, yeah, because it can be half, can it? Uh, let's roll a dexterity save. You should actually have a bonus modifier, but not when you roll a four. Uh, that's six total. Um, so Great. they fail. They take full damage, which is... Oh god, that bugbear is bare naked! He is... Bugbear Nation! He is... He is very naked. He's also very much on fire as well. He, he kind of sizzles and steams, though, because he's already kind of wet. Uh, but you do hurt him. Uh, he kind of boils with the water around him. Ow, it's a little horrific. worse, almost. Yeah, it's almost as bad as he kind of, like, even screams out in pain. Um, That's why you don't fucking hit people. <laughs> it, was well, just a prank. it was just a prank, bro. But, no. but panic. You don't know him and he has your purse. <laughs> uh, that ends their turn. Greckles, it is now your turn. 
Uh, you currently see one big bear currently slapping himself trying to get the fire off. Uh, the other one just just totally just went wham, wham, two solid kung fu punches to panic space, and then he burst into flames. So <laughs> There are so many instances in this stupid dungeon where Greckles is just like, I don't even know. But anyway, um... This encounter is wacky. <laughs> Is this what 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 is he is he just visibly just patting himself down at this point? Yeah, and he's like hopping around like smacking himself. So Greckles is going to bonus action dash. Oh no you don't! And uh stick it a stab. Okay. Oh, that's a ten. You swing and you miss. He does kind of notice you as you run. You yell at him and he notices you and uh you just he kind of ducks back and you cut, you nick the towel. Um if you want to go, oh yes. Well, I'm sorry, my, 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 my phone. Sorry, I was turning off something that was my phone. Sorry, I was. Apologies. My bad. Okay. Um. So, if you want to take another attack with the dagger there. Yeah, I can do that. <clears throat> uh, wait. Oh God, where'd he go? Greco Snickers. God, that's what you guys were hiding. That hit. Damn. Quick shot. Yes. You don't get your modifier to that. Okay, so uh, that's... That's a one plus three, so that's four points of damage as you you swing again, and you manage to get him, like, right in the leg, like, right in the calf, um, and he lets out a howl of pain. It's on fire, and he's his flesh is burning from the inside. His flesh is burning in many, many ways. <laughs> the unexpectables. You never know what you're going to get. Um, does that I'm end not, your turn there? Yeah. Okay. Digsby, it's now your turn. You are currently being strangled. Um, is that a athletics check to try to break through? That is an athletic check with disadvantage. Ooh. All right. Well, let's yeah. see how this goes. Uh, you managed to break free. Uh, how do you want to break free of this thing? All right. As I'm pushing myself away, my name is Digsbert Rockshell. Push. Okay, Last you of my rabbit. clan. You grab it with both sides, with arms being your other arm, and you just pull this thing, and as you pull, you rip its tongue, and it lets go immediately as you tear part of its tongue, and it crashes to the ground between you and Borky. And I shall not be undone by the likes of you. Uh, 12 uh, well, yeah, that does hit. Rest in peace. Uh, seven damage. Nice. Plus. That hits. Uh, does that do it? Nope, not yet. It's looking pretty beat Plus up. Plus branding smite. All right, that does it. <laughs> you bring down, you bring down the shovel, and Borky watches. Dixie brings down a shovel. The divine light on it kind of spreads out like dust. There's a moment, and the mimic's like, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, almost like a lightning bolt from the heavens, a strike of divine light just smashes it in two. <laughs> Lies at, lies at your feet, completely broken. And I cool. imagine that's like a Sentai ending. I like turn around and then the bolt goes down. <laughs> <laughs> you just did no, all out attack. It, it was, it was kind of like that. There was a delay, um, but it definitely got the job done. Your neck's a little sore, uh, but that ends uh, your turn, and that ends the uh, game. That, yeah, yeah. Those are my moves. So Borky, it's now your turn. Oh, oh yeah. Borky just looks down at the destruction after witnessing what he's saying. Holy shit, Diggs. You know how to put them into holes. I believe our friends are in trouble, Borky. I agree. Borky, okay. You can double move with the dash action. It's true, but I don't get an action after dashing, though, right? You don't get an action. Let me just gauge how far. I can move up to 40, right? As a barbarian now. Yeah. I think so. I think you got your bonus. Borky. Let me check. Yeah, Borky runs out the room and he slides into the, he just slides right in and you see it. Borky pulls out, not his lightning spear, but his regular spear he always has. Panic, duck! And Borky throws his regular spear and 16. That's a 16, that hits. Uh, Panic, I want you to roll, um, actually, you know what, no. He yelled. You're good. You duck. You 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 have 
You've experienced this terror once before. I, I, I know. I felt in the wind Borky reaching for his spear. Like, like Harry Potter. And like, and like Neo from the Matrix, I just... Like Harry... Oh, I was going to say like Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets. Ow, oh, my scar, it burns! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that absolutely hit, and you totally hit this guy right in the center of his chest. Ooh, nice thing. <laughs> uh, I assume that ends your That's, turn there. <laughs> I mean, I can't really do anything else. That's all you can do, yeah. Uh, all right, Task, it's now your turn. Oh, hey, Bork, and I shot. Much. Hi, you all right, let's take a shot at Bugbear Child. Let, wait, hold on. Let me see if I can even one reach. Yeah, I was double. I was double checking to see if I can reach. I can. You are a sharpshooter. You can absolutely reach. Oh fuck yeah! A hundred and twenty <laughs> feet of distance. Uh, let's take a shot at the one that Greckles is fighting. The one that's on fire. All right, he's having the worst possible day. It good. started off pretty good. Not so gun going so great. Fourteen. Right uh, let me check there. You see? Yep, that hits. Radical. They are wearing armor, so they are very much 14 naked. points of damage. Not bad, not bad, not bad. That brings him down to... Sorry, one second, doing math. Nice. All right. You have your second shot? Second shot, same guy. Same guy? Oh, no! Oh, no! Natural It's finally complete! The it's circle the, has reached its completion. It has reached its completion. Roll it's damage. It's the circle of friendly fire. <laughs> the circle of friendly da, fire. Da, da, da. It had to happen, guys. It we had all heard each other. It had to happen at some point. <gasps> okay, you don't get Colossus Slayer because he's your companion. I'm going to say you don't get Colossus Slayer. Good, but good. You take 11 points of damage right to the butt. Gah! Yes! <laughs> you got in the way. Porky, porky point. <laughs> Orky oh. points. <laughs> <laughs> Task has no like. Task doesn't like revel in this. He doesn't find <laughs> happiness in this. I don't know. <laughs> okay, group oh, vote. None of us can ever be angry about this again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for sure. All right. Amazing, amazing. Alrighty. No, does, uh, does it literally? Does as it long literally? As I hit... get that back. <laughs> Does it literally hit me in the butt? It is in your butt, yes. Okay, just wanted to make sure we were clear on that. It is right in your butt, yeah. Cool. Like, like in one, you don't really have cheeks. Well, you kind of do your bird, but you don't really have cheeks like humans do, but it is like right in your like lot, like, like, um, your right calf, basically, like up. Okay. Hasn't hit any bones, so that's good, but it hurts a that's lot. Good. Yeah. That was yeah, uh, almost half my health. Cars. On purpose. Tarisk is gonna flank the bugbear, like a good boy. Uh, and he is absolutely gonna hit, like a good boy. And, oh, he doesn't roll very high for damage, but that's okay. That's five points of damage. Uh, Panic, as you're watching, as Greckles is currently screaming, uh, being bitten, you watch as uh, Taurus just grabs the ankle of the bugbear, currently, like, just grabs him uh, and shakes. Where does health go? That is five. So that brings him down to that. All right, that ends Taurus' turn. Uh, and that brings it to Panix. All right, so is the spear still stuck in the bugbear? Uh, yes, it's like right in the center of his chest. I'm going to try to retrieve that. Okay. Um, roll, roll a strength check with advantage. I'm going to give you advantage on this. Because he's not wearing armor, so there's nothing really that'll get snagged on. That is a ten. Ten. That's just what you need. You 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 pop it out. There's a little bit of blood, and he just looks offended. Like what? Like hey, that was mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this it just. This is mine now. Okay. So uh, can I attack with it? You absolutely can at melee range. Let me just quickly throw it into your sheet here. It should hopefully go in on like the alchemist side. Oh, you don't have a melee weapon, do you? Shoot. Yeah, he lost face slicer. So that was his melee weapon. I don't have, oh, oh yeah, I, right. I don't have a melee weapon. I have I have added the javelin to your oh, your, your weapon capability. Is, the, is, actually... is javelin finesse? Uh, it's actually not a javelin. I threw, so. I threw a throwing spear. Oh, you clicked javelin though. Oh no, you did throw a spear. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're right. 
Okay, it is a spear, so it absolutely is a melee weapon. I don't think it's a finesse, but let me just quickly switch that out real fast here. You don't have a javelin. That was a lie. It was false. No, it, true. It, it is. It, it I don't is think it is. Finesse. No, but it's still a weapon. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and try for him. I'm gonna try to skewer him again. Okay. Ten. Oh, 15, you hit? 15. Roll your damage. I don't know why you got an extra 1d8. Uh, I, I, oh, did you copy it from Borky Sheet? No, I just copy like, clicked and dropped a spear stat into your thing. So let me real quickly mm. look that up and double check, because it might be a weapon where it's got two-handed and one-handed capabilities, which it, it, I think it might be versatile, I don't know. I never get that when I roll it on my character, so it must be something with your character. But anyways. Yeah, it's versatile. And let me take a look. Ah, I see, I see, I see, I see. Wait, where is it? Hold on. Flail glaive, pike rapier. Where's the spear? Oh, there it is. So it's 1d6 thrown, versatile 1d8. So you're using both hands, so you, you get the 1d8 damage. Okay. So... So... You roll the two plus your strength. Which is minus one. So you you hit him for one point of damage. Uh, you jab him right in the nipple. So. Yeah, take that. <laughs> more of that. There is a scream. There's more like a shock scream, like ah! like not really like a pain, but just of awe, of terror. Um, but you do. You managed to you managed to stab him in, in, in the chest a little bit. Um, do you uh, like anything else on your turn? Um. I'm gonna give. I, I'm gonna hit Grekkles with another healing word. Okay. Nice. You're healed for seven points of damage, Grekkles. Hey. Does the does the does his does his body physically heal around the arrow? So it's in there forever. No. My, my, it my healing. My healing word is shot in the bud and tasks to blame. You gave archery a bad name. Oh, whoa, 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 I don't say that last part. No, that was me. That was me. That no one heard that. Was that your way? It must be the way the wind flies through the building. All right. Panic, angered, the bugbear is going to to punch you again. Attempt to punch you again. Hey, man, I was just trying to give you a cool piercing. That is a 19 plus 5. That's a 25. Yeah. That that hits. You take four points of punching damage. Ah, son of a bitch. My nose is going to be broken. That's not going to hit. That's a 13 to hit you. Nope. No, he swings like with a wide swing, and you just kind of duck beneath his arm. That ends his turn. Greckles. He is going, the other bugbear uh, actually needs to take his damage. So if you want to roll a 1d4. Yep. Mr. Mr. On Fire over here. Oh, another four. Another four. Damn. Okay. Yeah, he's still thoroughly on fire. He's going to take his action to attempt to douse the flames again. And he succeeds. That's a 19. So he pats out the flames. Um, he's currently scorched. Uh, quite naked, actually. Uh, and still terrified. Uh, that ends his turn. <laughs> naked and afraid. <laughs> Start naked and afraid. <laughs> uh, Greckles, it is now your turn. I have a very important question for you. Yes. Can you melee with huh. an arrow in fifth ed? I will let it count as a dart. Or actually, I'll let it count as like a dagger, improvised weapon. Cool. Because, because, because... Greckles has that. Are you gonna try and murder the bugbear with your butt dart? Oh, well, we're working on it. We're working on it. Trust Please me. Please paint a picture okay. with your words. I must see this. For, for, for. His oh, face. Wow. His face is hung low. His <laughs> eyes are bulging out. He is or very is pissed. Spaghetti? He goes to. He goes, stop ruining my bit. <laughs> he goes to slash at his throat with his with the uh, scary ass dagger stab. Nat Natural twenty. 20. Stab. <laughs> <laughs> Nine plus five, 14 damage. 14 damage. No, All right. you don't get the plus five, you use the arrow. No, I'm using my, I uh, know. He's first using the acid dagger. dagger. He's oh, using the okay. acid dagger for the first attack. In a blue blur of rage, he spins forth, grabbing the arrow from his butt, 
pulling it out and then stabbing this bastard in the eye with it. All right, I will say this. If you want to try and remove that, you do need to roll a medicine check. You know what? It's worth it at this point. Okay. Grackles is so pissed. 16. You, yeah, it comes out. You pop it out. There's some blood. It's a little awkward, but it's okay. You pull it so out. You have it in your he's, arm. He is seeing, seeing red. His eyes are bloodshot. So roll a dagger check, but we're going to have to remove yeah, your just, proficiency because you're not right. proficient with an arrow. Uh-huh. And um, and I guess, can I just roll the acid dagger and ignore the acid damage? Because uh, it's the same stats, regular, isn't it? You have a regular dagger in your inventory. I do not. You don't? Okay, then yeah, hit the acid dagger. We'll remove your proficiency and we'll go from there. So uh, that's 12? No. So um, that is three. So that take away three, that brings it to an 11, uh, which sadly misses. Um, you go and you like you're like die 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 and the bugbear's like terrified he grabs this your bird arm as you're like trying to stab him in the face he like grabs your arm as you're like swinging wildly like screaming uh, <laughs> like he looks so stressed out right now uh but sadly you do miss um, <laughs> the dream. Hey man, you got that nat 20 though. You did. I know. That was that was, a that was the rage. That was the rage. Uh, Digsby, you hear screaming and yelling and a <laughs> at one point you you think maybe you're um but general chaos outside. Digsby uh is actually just kind of shaking at the moment. He's like shaking his head uh Let's see, hold on. What's my movement? I think it's 30. It's 30. You can double for dash. Quick, dual roll out. Five, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Oh. Yeah, he, that, like he shakes, he shakes himself off and runs oh, out. Hey. Yeah, you watch Borky as Digsby comes running out kind of, it's interesting to see him oh, run. He you. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's like blinking really fast and just kind of shaking his head. He, like something's messing with his head. All right. Forky smacks him on the shoulder. All right, you're going to be okay, Diggs. We go, Diggs. He nods to you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It yeah. Depends. Greco's just took an arrow from Task, though. Oh. He got Why? <laughs> I, I, yeah, looks, looks, looks over to Task. Ta- Task, just, Task just shrugs. He got in the way. Uh, looks back. All right. Uh, is that in your turn, Digsby? That's all I got. Yeah, your range weapons. Okay. Uh, task, it's now your turn. Uh, all right. Seeing the mistake I made. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Right there. Yeah, right there's fine. We'll move right here. Please don't make me Jim Carrey. <laughs> I want you to Jim Carrey so hard. The double, uh, spe- the double uh, spears. Uh, well, let's let's see what happens. Take it. Let, I, I, let's at least get rid of the guy you're facing right now. I swear. No, that, 22. That hits. That hits. You're good. 14 points of damage. 14 points of damage. All right. So, Tonk, you hit him with the arrow. Uh, he is not looking good, uh, but he is still up. He is still he is, alive. He is He is so desperately trying to stop Greckles. Uh, that absolutely hits. Roll an 18. Let's roll again. For 16 points of damage. Wow. So as Greckles, you are so ferocious, you actually manage to get this bugbear, like he gets down on his knees and you're like trying to stab him and you like push him down onto his back and you're like trying so de- desperately to stab him. And as you do, Task, you kind of just like lean over, kind of like 90 degrees to the side, just take a <laughs> shot. And you are like, you are like, Greckles, you're so determined that he will die by this arrow until another arrow comes through and shoo, goes right through his head, skitters across the ground, shatters against the rock through the hall, and the bugbear just stops moving. And you just start stabbing him like over and over and over. Stay dead, stay dead. <laughs> Don't break that, I need it. Like right. he can hear you. <laughs> No, well, he'll shout it. Don't break it. I have a finite no, amount no, of them. Tash, he's got bird flu. He's into a rage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Tarisk is going to go for the bugbear. He's got flanking bonus. Oh, buddy, that's only a nine. Uh, he snaps again and just doesn't get any purchase. Uh, that brings it back to panic. You have your spear still. Oh, what? Oh, did I? Did you miss my uh, this, this... Did I? Oh, I did! I'm so sorry! Panic, duck! Borky throws another javelin. 
Oh, God. You guys. Oh, get the funny. other nipple. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you got the other nipple. Uh, nine, oh, that's nine, nine piercing plus two for rage. Nine piercing. All right. So that's ele- uh, 11. So that's... Whew. Yeah, you throw it. And you, there, once again, right where you pulled the, the spear out, just like a spear dispensary, just tunk, another javelin lands in the center, right where he got hit before. Oh, cool. And he staggers. Porky says, Shaking Actually, his head. just stay ducked for the host pot for the most of this fight, I think. Porky throws another javelin. 14. Okay. Uh, that hits. <laughs> Seven plus two. Seven. Okay. That is nine. <laughs> So, yeah, he's not looking so good. The other one hits him right in the shoulder. He's starting to look like a really bizarre porcupine, wet porcupine at this point. Throwing painful wooden limbs. <laughs> um, it's now it is Panic's turn. Pan- Panic's going to look down at the spear and realize how useless he is with it. And so he's just going to drop it. And I'm going to use my bonus action to invoke Barbed Hide. Okay. On just my face. Oh, on your face, okay. And I'm going to reel my head back and smash my the base of my horns into his head. Okay. okay. That's nice. That's cool. Okay. That's many things. That's many things, but I will allow it to happen. I would like you to make a dexterity check for me. I will let this be a dexterity check. 23. You hit. What is the damage on a barbed hide hit when you are grappled? 1d6. Okay, roll 1d6. Three. Okay, three. You do so. You grab him and you you don't grapple him. You just grab him and you headbutt him right kind of in the neck because he's pretty tall. But you imagine him right in the neck. And he starts gurgling. He's not dead, but he's gripping at his neck at this point. And as you rear back, you were just covered in blood. You were just absolutely covered, like forehead to chin in blood at the moment. Yeah, take that. <laughs> that takes up your entire turn, though. Yep, yeah, yeah, sure does. Action. Um, it is going to be his turn now, I believe. I gotta check my turn order here. Uh, yes, it is now his turn. He is going to headbutt you back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. In the spiky face? No, he's just going to headbutt him. Uh, I'm going to headbutt you. I'm going to headbutt you. Uh, that is a natural oh, twenty. Oh, oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Whoa, this fighting. So that is, this is one. a weird fight. Plus one. This is wacky. Four. Uh, oh, no, plus three. So that's five points of damage as he doesn't aim for your horns. He actually like tackles you right in the chest. Um, he headbutts you right in the chest, given that Taurusk has kind of got him sort of distracted and he really has no idea what to do with you. Oh, what the uh, fuck? So you get, you the wind gets knocked out of you as he just lowers down and just bam, just headbutts <sighs> you right in the chest. Uh, that ends his turn, which brings it back to Greckles. It is now your turn. Oh, Grek, see, seeing the corpse, he, he, his head snaps over to the right to see the last of his foes. <laughs> <laughs> a, a quick flash of light gleams as he as he pulls out his wakizashi to dual wield, dashing towards the last bugbear, screaming, Oh my, I want more sin And let's get those attacks going. I, I just see, you I wildly see, waving blades and like I running. I see like the Roberto <laughs> fucking scream <laughs> as he runs at the bugbear. <laughs> the bugbear just the bugbear just looks up, its eyes start glowing, Nani. <laughs> that hits. Am I? I'm not you technically. Get, you are oh, flanking, uh, but you do get sneak attack. Okay, so that is eight plus six. six. So you run up with your acid dagger. You leap into the air and you bring it right down on the top, just the top part of the bugbear's oh. head and you just hear a cracking noise as your blade goes a decent, like, probably like three inches in. And the bugbear's like arms just start spasming and he slumps over dead. Greckles, Greckles quickly pulls, pulls out his blade, sheaths it, sits, sits cross-legged on the ground, bringing two fingers up to his face, closes his eyes, and you hear him repeat, 
Din Pyo To Sha Kai Jin Det Sai said over and over and over and over and takes a deep breath. <sighs> yeah, that take was, that. That was fun. <laughs> Dask holds up a healing potion and dangles it for Greckles to take. Ah, oh, thank you. That's Greckles, much appreciated. Is your body okay? Borky, my oh, butt's fine. Really, thank you, Taz. Your butt actually it feels pretty really okay. Hurt. No, I'm good. Tass looks over to Tass looks over to uh to Digsby. You need one as well. I'm fine. Uh, he touches himself on the chest and uh, heals himself fast, some. Real quick, real quick. Borky like taps uh Digsby on the shoulder. All right, let's go back in the room and let's grab what we were grabbing. Hey guys, we'll be right back. You guys check the other room. Oh no, mm. Tass is going with I'm you. He got a mimic a, kill. I'm trying to do a He's moment. Water. Okay, fine. Ugh. You can, you can, you task can, task can got a creature while you guys are having a tender moment. Yeah, I would be trying to get some of that weird acid that's that came out of those things. What guys? What took you guys so long? You guys were in that room for a long time, and these guys are wandering back towards the uh, bookshelf. Okay, uh, you guys managed to collect. Borky, you have one green book. All these shelves. Uh, roll actually, did to be roll an investigation check just real fast. Sure. Kind, kind of important, uh, maybe. Do, 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 do. Oh god, what is it? there we go. Alphabetical, right, those things. Yeah. Okay. Eh. Uh you notice it's not five. You know, every single shelf had a green book on it. Hmm. Interesting. But you've grabbed all of them, and they're all blank on the inside. Just like the one that Borky found on the ground in the in the trap room, they're all blank on the hmm. inside. Except for the, you wrote a little message in there, and that's still yeah. there. But uh, is are there anything on the uh, spines of them? Uh, no. There's like the front cover is like um, actually the front cover has like a, a rapier hilt on it. Like it looks like a sword on it mm. of of some kind. Like it looks like maybe a scimitar of of, mm. of some make. Um, the uh, I want task to roll a uh, uh, task and Greckles uh, mm. roll a survival. You go monster hunting. Here we go. Eleven. Okay, oh, 12, get, 12, 12, 12. And eleven for me. <clears throat> uh, you managed to get a very small vial of the mimic acid. Not enough that you could throw it and it would do anything, but enough sure. that Willow could look at it. Yeah. Awesome. Um, task. These things begin to like melt in their own it's gross, but melt in their own juices. You managed to salvage two teeth, um, but they are. Finding what is the actual chest or keg that they're occupying and what is the actual creature is very challenging. Oh. Uh, but you, you do manage to get two teeth. That, that's fine. A, a piece of the hunt is still better than nothing. Yeah. Uh, is anybody going to search the bugbears? Yes. Because yeah, we'll head panic back that needs way. A fucking, panic needs a weapon desperately. They're okay. naked. Well, they're naked. So well, unless well, we can check to... the room. Uh, the room is, is, has, oh, actually, there is stuff in the room. Um, you find a, uh, a bottle of nice champagne and two more glasses. Oh, God, was it um, date night? Panic deserves that. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, it's date night. One bugbear is female, the other one is male. Uh, oh, they're together now. <laughs> oh, that's, that, no, that's the silver lining. <laughs> At least they're together the now. <laughs> wow, that's sadistic. Dark. Uh, but no, you do find a bottle of nice champagne and two glasses. You also find a perfume bottle you assume belonged to the female bugbear. I'm uh, just saying, couldn't have gone that well. They were bathing in separate pods. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Uh, you do find uh, what appears to be like they, they had like some simple linen pants. Um, appears that there's 50 gold pieces in the pocket, and resting next to one of the tubs is this. Oh, is that a piece of a good boy oh. dragon? Oh, he sure oh, is. is. We have another yeah. slate piece. You have another. You have another tablet of mysterious origins. We have three now. Uh -huh. so, Panic, I, I, I hope this makes up for the day. Just <laughs> offering the champagne. It doesn't, but sure. You're a little bloodied and you're you're spiky and you look really terrifying, actually. Well, Panic uh, just takes the champagne, and just pours some into his gullet. It is oh, really nice. Actually. I do have something. Task will, uh, Task will hand him one of his sickles. Hit the sickle he brought with him. Oh, okay. Panic is gonna hold his palm up and just push it back towards him. Oh. Nah. Very well. Um, 
Task, what type of potion did you pass over? I I gave you a basic healing potion. So it's 2d4 plus 2. Okay. So I was just going to put that in the inventory. Yeah, and I got to detract from my inventory. I currently have four Cure Minor Wound Potion. Yeah, Willow, Willow loaded you guys up. Well, I made sure that someone had to have a stockpile. And I'm like, if it's going to be me, so be it. Thanks, Willow. If there's one thing I have learned during this journey, it's that I'm not good with weapons like you are. I'm going to pocket the 50 gold just for the sake of keeping a number. Sure. Okay. Yeah, it's just like loose change. It's like a mixture of copper pieces, silver pieces, a couple gold pieces. So it's really uh, scarce, um, yeah. but... Yeah, yeah. Ta Task will say, well, if even if you feel that's the case, at least having something to defend yourself still wouldn't be a bad idea. I suppose. I mean, he, I mean, he always does have that silver tongue of his. Ha-ha! <laughs> That's a yeah. sickle? Yep, sure. just give him a, let, a let sickle. Let him have the sickle. Such a specific weapon. There you go, uh, it's got a sickle. I'm going to edit it because it's showing up as not a finesse weapon, uh, which is a lie. It is, it is I a can't believe I'm a Darkest Dungeon Jester now. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. worried about that. I, I apparently have a sickle in my inventory as well, and it's, it's listed as not a finesse weapon. I thought that was weird. What? Yeah. Well, I know I, I switched it over. I'm fairly certain it's a something, but we can go over that later. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Can, uh, yeah. can we cut over to Borky and Diggs? Yeah, yeah. So, like, I'm yeah. guessing we're pi we're grabbing all the green books. How many green books we're looking at? Yeah, co collecting them. There's there's four. So there are three bookshelves in there, and then you found one on the ground. Oh, okay. So we have so including the one that is in Borky's inventory. How many in total tally are there currently presently around us? Total, there are four. Should we take the green books? Yeah, I think oh, so. Oh, just hand yeah. He says as he's like lend bending over to like pick them up as he's like uh, where hey, they were dropped. Thanks, can I ask you a question? Oh, I... um, uh, oh. There's two questions actually, so sorry for lying. Um, I guess we're picking up books while this is happening. So, is mm -hmm. uh, you seem more intense lately? I sh uh, and you've seen something in that fight. You're the last of your clan. I, I ain't heard the name in a long time. Yeah. And what was your clan's name again? In the heat of battle, I only heard part of it. My clan's name was Rockshell. That's a strong sounding name. We was a strong people until the incident. Yes. We was raided by brigands. There was you. They came in, slicing, dicing, and looting. Was they humans, or was they ogres, or...? You... Your experience with that is interesting. You don't know who heralded that attack. You know that most of the things in that attack weren't alive. Yeah. It's hard to say. Even now, like, I feel my mind just slipping back, slipping back to the digs beat before. I... They shapeless. They... All I remember of the event is screaming, and it was the first time I met the Harvestman. Did you know? Well, did you see him like you saw him just now, or did you see him like there in the home? No, I, I saw him like I saw him now. I, something came up, and it I was just digging a grave like, like I was supposed to. See, my dad, he was the local priest. He was a Hoketh priest, and, well... When the commotion started, I got up and I got cleaved in half. Like he traces his fingers down his uh, scar. So when I got arms, where I got this arm. Arms be waves, but kind of like a little bit slower than usual. I woke up and everyone was dead, but they wasn't really, they was, they was still moving. Me ma, me da, me mates, everyone. It, it was, it was up for me to put them back where they belonged. To this day, with every swing of me shovel, I still see their faces all contorted and horrible. <sighs> After they was put to rest, I wasn't the same. 
The act of burial it gave me some small comfort. It was the only comfort I could find. It's when I became the Digsby you knew. You know. It's the only Digs I know. Hey, I'm, I'm... Well, you're going to be seeing him again, because even now I feel this... I feel my mind slipping back. It's for the best, though. That Digsby, he... He sees the beauty in the world with little... He sees darkness, but... But he sees everything so pure. It's so much easier to see darkness through beauty than it is... Trying to see beauty through a lens of horror. Borky. I just want to thank you, Borky. You've... I ain't had many companions. You... You guys have made me feel more welcome than I have in a long time. Who has Liza's mask right now? Um, I think we... Did we... Oh, no, it came back Task to us. Task has it. Task has it. <clears throat> Do you have both? Does he have both pieces? Yeah. Task has it. I... Sorry, my, my thing cut out. What I have? You, you have, have Liza's mask. mask. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, you feel it tugging. It's moving. Uh, yeah. Is there is, is there anything that I would have received some form of identification for getting into Alabast? You have a ticket, yeah. All right, I pull out the ticket. Uh, the name on the ticket does not say Rock Shell. It says Rot Shell. R-O-T-T. Oh. This is the name that the, uh, the other villagers gave me. They thought I was cursed. It's the name I wear now. Until I can figure out exactly what the Harvestman wants from me from... Until I can set things right. Oh. I just want to thank you and everybody. Mark just kind of got a little bit of tears in his eyes. All right, mate, if you don't mind me, I'm still going to call you Diggs Rock, Rock Shell. Porky kind of like punches him lightly on the arm. I appreciate it. Uh, task at this point, Liza's mask pops out and oh. starts like dragging across the floor, like like a oh like I was a I was plate. oh geez I was about to say like Task was gonna like not show it, but at least like like through his under his cloak, just like put his hand on the mask and feel where it's popping out. And it actually like flies past you. It actually goes between your legs. <laughs> Greckles mm -hmm. skitters forward. It looks like it's trying to head towards Borky at the moment. Uh, let's beeline it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it like scatters. It hits kind of the inner part of the wall, and and Digsby and Borky, you guys hear it kind of smash into the wall, and it kind of drags forward, and then just it just seems to stop. It doesn't have enough Borky strength walk. to keep going, but you I'm, do notice. I'm gonna you... I'm gonna bend down and and pick it up and and see if it like tries to pull me somewhere. You go to pick it up, and as you reach down for it, you notice one of the cracks seals over and heals. Digsby's confused. He notices the commotion and starts wandering forward. Hey, what's up, guys? What's all this then? The, the mask. mask. Mm. It's healing itself. This has happened before. When... When I made amends with that woman. That woman. She had a name. I forget her name. <laughs> Helena. Helena. And I forget your wife's name. <laughs> Shipping is real. Uh oh. When I made <laughs> when I made amends with Helena, the mask it, it healed itself. Roll an insight check on the mask, actually. <laughs> you did it's heal great. yourself, right? You're not fucking with me. <laughs> yeah. Insight. <laughs> Just it joking. Is. Joking. A ten. A ten. Um, something about the correlation. Um. Definitely, it's not relating to Diggs, but it is relating to Borky's actions, potentially. Oh, okay, um, must be for my amazing puns. No! Starts to crack again. No, I'm just joking. No! <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But it does fix itself a little bit, but beyond that, nothing happens. Uh, and everything else you guys loot, you have. Um, so, how are we going to continue forward? Taurus is currently eating part of the blood bear. He didn't have breakfast. Oh, 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 I think the mask repairs itself whenever we come to terms with an aspect of ourselves. Interesting little relic, that is. It's... Long story, that, that long story. Yes, that it sure is. Yeah. I spin me around. Something around, we, uh, around, around. keep... Something that kind of, like, keeps us tied together in a way. 
But enough of I, that. We probably gonna, have a lot more things to go forward with. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hand the mask back to Task. Alrighty, okay. pocket that. It's getting a lot better. Yeah, it, a lot of the damage um, is is like between Panic and Borky is healing up quite a it's, bit. It's so. it's still two halves. Though, it's right? still two halves. Yeah, it's yeah. still in half. But um, Greckles oh. is going gonna go over to the uh, the door over here. And uh, look for traps, locks, etc. Right, roll a perception check. So we're back out in the hallway, and we're continuing continuing down up to the end of the hallway. Correct? Yeah, you guys are gonna, you're continuing uh, left there. I was gonna like tell Tar to so, like finish up what it's eating and then hurry up. I just imagine <laughs> dragging the yeah, dragging the, the, the bugbear like like a. He's got like a leg in his mouth. <laughs> that's a that's a thirteen. Okay. Uh, no traps, but on the actual door itself is this. Wait a minute. Hold on to phone. Mm. And because you guys have found them. What's a phone? Well, the sending stone. <laughs> the scry ah. orb. You appear to find a blank. Inset into this door is a set of what looks like nine slots. Um, and in some of the slots are more of those tablets that you guys have collected, and they all kind of be in uh, placed inside. Uh, you guys can click and move oh them my God. Uh, oh to my your leisure. <laughs> so it appears huh. to be some sort of strange locking mechanism of some kind. What if, so, what if, so I should charge the door then? No, what, Borky, what? stop. This is some it's Resident solid, Evil type shit. It is solid stone. It is. It is can you stone handle stone. sliding the puzzle? It doesn't appear to be a sliding puzzle. It appears if you take the pieces out and then put them back in. And uh, that's where you check for I traps. Am, There's no is, traps for those. You, is, you take them out and you put them back in and they seem to be Surprise! Like... we didn't have to fight Crowler for the last piece. <laughs> I have no control over moving pieces. Yeah, you I have no control over either. moving pieces too. Oh, shoot. Okay, I hold even. on one second. Well, let's break them. Oh, you guys righty, I got some <laughs> fit All right. shout outs to do. My lord, my lord, my lord, you monsters. Uh. Alrighty, okay, guys, the bit, uh, the, the, the monetary support you're throwing the Unexpectables way tonight is staggering to say the goddamn least. <laughs> that morph guy, 500 bits, great stream tonight, thanks. Back card 20, 1,000 bits, great acting, so into this, wish you could stick around, digs. Thank you so much, back card 20. You're up for a while. Probate with another 10,000 bits. They should probably cast a black light spell just to make sure they don't step in anything. Thank you for the 10,000 bits, probate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you going to get like an unexpectable theme I yacht don't or something? I have that kind of money. <laughs> it's like in the shape of Tarisk. But it shoots out a little angry task, middle mini sub. <laughs> and oh my lord. Pickled Dundead, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub and also a great name. Arapen, 5,000 bits. Birthday, 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 birthday. Do it I do. Thank you again for the 5,000 bits, Arapen. And Kenneth Malone in 100 bits. Sword. Kenneth Malone in 1,500 bits. Bits for Panic's new S. And oh my god. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. What was it that Lanny said? Oh, dance yes, that's dance. what he said. I can't think of the bits for new S. Erise Quinox, 1100 bits. Always fun to see what you come up with for our heroes, Monday. Do you plan to get Mordenkainen's Tome of Foes when it drops? I know I will. Oh, I As it's always that. fun to I have more baddie it. options. Oh, no. Itachi Sun God, thank you for the two month re Thank you for the two, uh, the four month resub. And Kyo Phoenix, 5000 bits. Bits just cuz. Just cause 5,000 bits? Kyo Phoenix, thank you so much for the 5,000 bits, dude. Shatterlock's 100 bits, episode title, The Circle of Strife. <laughs> Kenneth Malonen, 1,300 bits. Borky pulls out this regular spear that he always has, and Pelv throws it, dot, dot, dot. Thank you, Kenneth Malonen, for the 1,300 bits. Bloomer Bagel, destroying <laughs> Probate's throne with 17,000 bits. Scar voice, long live the king. Oh, yeah, Brother! Oh! There we go. Sorry, I thought I had that set up. Oh, 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 Sorry, yeah. that's what Mufasa says when he falls to the ground. Guy Green, thank you for the four month resub. Joker 18, thank you for the sub. Flitzboy, top or bottom, thank you for the sub. Shadow 466, thank you for the sub. F 
Slightest 626, thank you for the sub. Dark Magic Pez, thank you for the sub. Kirisu389, thank you for the 10 month resub. JMP08, thank you for the prime sub. Ken the Malona, thank you for the 3 month resub. I sub for that burn. Warnarni, thank you for the sub. Comfy Couchman, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Uncle Bane Man, thank you for the 11 month resub. Do you guys ever think that the moon looks down on us while we think, thinks why, we, why, why, why are we so flat? I don't know. <laughs> All right, thank you. I, I know, I know. Sorry, 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 yeah. sorry. This is kind of flying here. Joker 18 Jr., 5,000 bits. <laughs> He's just slapping. Joker 18 Jr. is just slapping. Well, thank you for the 5,000 bits, dude. Thank you for the support. Belma Keat. 10,000 bits. Whoa, for bulk and gawk and mork. You spelled walk properly. The proper amount of A's. Good on you, Balma Keat. And thank you so much for the 10,000 bits. Greatly appreciate the support. Holy shit, dude. Eric King W, thank you for the three months resub. Three months, I just request we, uh, I just request we raid someone. No worries, Eric King W. He just got himself affiliate. All right. Is uh, everybody I'm back I'm going to the yet? bathroom here in a second. I'm back. Just got my coffee. Yeah, Guy, I'm Jack Jumbo, yeah, Jack uh, Jumbo, 600 bits. The grind to take down the evil bit monster. Thank you so much. SF Cody, thank you for the sub. Uh... Is Lenny here? I'm, I'm still faster. I'll just okay, cool. this. Scouting for Rosen, 100 bits. My dad's already great, great. Just wanted to celebrate. Congrats, Scouting for Rosen. Adam Ayer underscore one, 1,500 bits. I'm getting gastric bypass surgery, and I have already lost 30 pounds to get ready for it. Oh, congrats on the weight loss. I hope the surgery goes well. Uh, Penguin Man 0913, 1,000 bits. When Smash 5 comes out, I will play any of you on stream. If so, I would love to play it with y'all. E. Montizzle, 500 bits. I hate that I missed the first hour due to work in a blizzard going through Madison right now. Merry Christmas in April, guys. People, people are already moving things around. Yeah, I we should, you should probably swap these back gonna, to where they go were to the before. Uh, fast here, and I we will continue <laughs> to get back. Jumble, jumble, jumble. Yeah, mix them up. <laughs> there we go. Good job. Now That's we'll close. never know. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, these two pieces are touching. Touching. That's better. There we go. <laughs> Just the touching a different way now. Oh, man. much touching. Sorry, guys. I thought I had that set up completely. Nah, it's fine. No worries. I just feel bad if this was solved during no, the break. No, no, no. I, I, I once pissed off a DM, uh, my like my first DM, because he spent like a good chunk of time figuring out this riddle, and I was like, it, it had something to do with like removing like uh, uh, make something something, and it was one of those old like, uh, and I always had like a brain for riddles, and it's like, oh, so I just need to take out one of these letters. And I'm like, can I just remove this? Like I start touching uh, touching letters, like, yep, that did it. <laughs> I gave you guys another puzzle before, and it took you guys a little bit of time, but that was okay. It was, it was a weird puzzle, but it was fun. It was interesting. I, I love I love riddle puzzles. Uh, oh, Snake, the the sickle is a is, is isn't a finesse weapon, but it's a light weapon, which means you can take it. You can use a bonus action to make an additional attack with it. Oh, interesting. And it does which slashing. Is, which is but weird because it's... it's not finesse. Yeah. But it's not a finesse weapon, so, no, so it's, it applies it, it's at a minus one. I then. am back. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. So you guys are, for those of you who are, who are on our podcast, uh, they are in front of a stone tablet with nine um, slots, essentially. Three on the top, three in the middle, three at the bottom. Uh, and they have what appears to be nine tablets. They seem to have fully accumulated three of the missing ones. So it is now up to you guys to figure out how... To get this to work. We were seeing Borky so. tr attempting to count. Hey, you <laughs> hmm. Don't touch yourself. Hold on. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, look, that makes a oh, face. Oh, it makes a face there. So. Is. And put oh, no, that no, there. No, 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 it's not it. You see the hand? The hand goes. Oh, look. It's like it's like a big old claw weed coming off his oh, back. That, well, hold on. Did we get it? Oh, yeah, we did uh, it. Clicking noise. As the picture of a dragon appears, it glows. Wait. There we go. <laughs> oh, sorry, my perfectionism was kicking in. Just, just that OCD. Hey, and doesn't that door... kind of look like our logo? A little bit. Oh, wait, that's copyright infringement. Wait, we didn't get it. All right, we got to sue wait. these bugbears. Uh, it was my job to copyright it. I didn't do that. Oh, the door God. pulls back, and you hey, see... Uh, oh, Monty. Yes? Can I roll in knowledge on what that dragon looked like? Uh, sure, yeah. 
Like, if that dragon rings any bells in some regard. Uh, roll a knowledge, what would this be? Knowledge history, I guess, would be. Knowledge yeah, market. knowledge history. Yeah, Gregos would be interested about that, too. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a potion real quick. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. 18. Uh, 18. It's just, it looks like just a standard depiction of a dragon. Usually humans depict them in sort of, like, generic yeah, sorts of ways, you know? Uh, um, yeah, I know, right? Those 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 artists with them dragons. <laughs> Especially when they draw them really small-like and try to put them on two legs. What are the chances? I know, and they right? give them really big tails. Yeah, yeah and really big them, ears and shit like that. Just, just fucking I call them Spyro or something. And it's yeah, just, oh, geez. God. I hope that... <laughs> yeah. I, that I, can't show, that, I can't believe that Skylander's so powerful they're giving him his own game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. The worst thing is a majority of people who are going to be playing it will think that. Uh, Alrighty. Um, as you guys look into the room, uh, you see more bookshelves. Um, you see a uh, three, um, and you see kind of an old, really tattered, like mildewy smelling uh, carpet on the ground. Whatever it used to be Borky, is long Borky gone holds out time. his hand to Greckles, holding it back. Don't stab it. Don't stab it with your acid dagger. Don't, Borky. Don't, Borky. Greckles ignores Don't him and walks it. past. Okay. Are these more bookshelves? There are more bookshelves, yeah. Uh, Digsby goes to search for more green books. Okay. Pass looks at the ceiling. So what were you guys it doing in so that room for so long? I mean, I was fighting those guys for a little while well, before we you just fought... came out. A bunch, of the, so... a bunch of the inanimate objects grew teeth and tried to eat us. So we killed them. What? That's, that's actually not incorrect. Uh, Digsby, the shelf that you're looking at doesn't actually have a green book in, in the same place that the other ones did. It mm. seems to be missing its book. Um, the other shelves behind you do. They have green books um, in place. I assume that this thing can uh, on, uh, on the... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Can we infer that it's the one book that Borky found earlier that was, like, uh, way out of place? I mean, yeah. I mean, it seems kind of commonplace. I'm going to go ahead and ritual cast detect magic, just, just in case. Okay. Click detect magic for me. And I'm going to roll Perception to look at that ceiling. So Digsby now has two other green books? Yeah, you pull them out. You pull them out of the thing. Yes. Morty pulls his book out and tosses it towards right, yeah. Diggs as well. Hey, you seem to be starting a collection. You guys now have six green books in your in your toe. Uh, right, well, you I'll take the ones that Borky tossed to me then. Okay, yeah, you do detect magic. Uh, panic. Uh, you detect magic to the north of you from where you are currently standing. In the room? Uh, in the room, yeah, to the north of you. Uh, it is well past the wall, actually. Hmm. Hmm. It's not like, like, um, does it give you the exact? Uh, the faint aura around any visible creature or object in the area that bears magic. Uh, is blocked. And I learn in School of Magic, if any. Okay. Uh, I will say you do feel it. I'm actually literally timing myself here for how much lucidity Digsby has. Uh, can I... Uh, Digsby wants to knock on each, you know, five-foot square of this backboard to hear if any piece of it is hollow. Okay. Uh, roll an investigation check for that. Sure thing. I, I also learned the School of Magic. The School of Magic, uh, I believe, would be evocation. Oh, I'm sorry, that was insight. Do, 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 oh, yeah. You insight that the, the, the bookshelf has no feelings one way or another. The bookshelf exists. Natural! Oh, natural 20. You knock, 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 solid, solid. In the middle, though, hollow, hollow. And on the other side, solid, solid. Digsby points. I think there's a, I think there's a door behind this. Be there's very the, careful. There with, is something with the, back there. With the natural 20, you do understand that it is probably some sort of secret door. He starts uh, looking at the books. Are there any of them that are different than the others? They all have the same picture of the sword on them. Uh, they're all green, and besides the one that you wrote in, they're all blank. Then I'm going to uh, put in the one I wrote in. Okay, you put it, and it fits so perfectly in place. It lands in, but you still have five other books. Uh, are there other holes on this bookshelf? Not on that bookshelf. Uh, oh, dear. Borky looks down at the bookshelf. Borky. Borky looks at the bookshelves, the two at the bottom of the room, and uh, to the south of the room. Sorry. Are there any holes there? Yeah. 
Well, where you guys took out the books. Mm. There are now exactly. holes. How many holes? Well, uh, there's one on each shelf where each book was taken off from the same spot. And in fact, where you put in that book is the same spot that all the other books were in, in the other shelves, even in the other room. Uh-oh. Put the candle back. I think, I think we need to put these back on the shelves. Uh, was there a bookshelf in the kitchen at all? No. There okay. is just, like, low shelves for, like, pantry items and things yeah, sorry, like that. I, I saw one that looked we, relatively we, similar. Quick quick question. Mm -hmm. Is is to the northeast, is that a staircase? That is a staircase going up, yeah. All right. I am going to stand guard and let me get into stealth if that's doable. Yep. You can you can kind of... Washa. That is a 22 nice. to stealth. I am watching that staircase for anything coming because we know okay. there's a fat dude upstairs. Also, Monty, I rolled a... 11 um, on the, the ceiling is no different than the other ceilings that you've seen. Um, it's actually more intact than the front entrance ceiling, but it is just... So what you're saying, um, Diggs, is I'll go to put the book back in the other room with the mimics, put them back in those two slots we took the books from. Uh, there were three. There were three. Yeah, D D Diggs, D Diggs behind you the three okay, books and nods. I go do that. Borky. Dun, 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 dun. And Digsby puts the uh, books back on these shelves. Paris like watches you as you pass and kind of wags his tail and then lumbers. Or he kind of pets him a little bit. Good uh, all right. Good drag. Sorry. Shitunk. Shitunk. Shitunk, Borky, as you put in the last book, this bookshelf here uh, actually goes right into the ground. It just. Borky runs sinks back in. Deep Huzzah, into the we did it! Yeah, Good job, so Borks. Thanks. My name isn't short for Borks, people. I appreciate it. <laughs> now be very careful. There is some sort of magic back there, and I, uh, I don't think it's... I think it's meant Borky to keep people just... out. Digsby uses divine sense. Okay. You detect nothing. Borky. Wait, you can, you can detect... Uh, one second. Celestial Fiend, you're undead. Uh, okay, yeah, you know, you detect, you detect nothing. Well, taint undead, whatever it is. Borky slowly creeps up on the ground, crawling forward, and just peeks his head around the corner while lying down. Okay. You see a chest? Oh, no. Borky does a kip up. <laughs> what What oh, do you nothing, see? Man. Borky walks up to the chest. Not mine. Not, no, 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 it's mine. Borky. <laughs> Are you sure there's Orky something enchanted now, in there? Like, he's like literally latched onto the chest. No, I know what you're thinking. Just bulk it as over to inside this. Task pulls out his long bow and aims it at the chest. No! Okay, I did. D Digsby just taps it with his shovel. Tink, tink. It's a chest. Tink, tink. I think it's alive. It's not alive. It is, it is it alive or it is alive? I don't Borky, think it's alive. Borky, the only way we can tell is if you try to open. Oh, God. Hey, what'd you find in there? Just everyone, everyone, stop pressuring me. Borky does a deep breath. Borky flips it open. Okay, you flip it open. It's a very big chest. You find inside a sword. <gasps> and Borky grabs else. it, thinking it's a talking sword. It's just the hilt. Damn it! Go! Yeah, it's like it's like it's got like a guard to it, but it is just a sword hilt. There's no. What does a sword hilt look like? At all? Is it? A... It's very ornate. It's very pretty. It looks like it's made with some sort of like maybe like a silver or platinum. Is it a guarding sword, like a rapier, or is it a straight sword? It looks like a guarding sword. Like the, the hilt itself is like a guarding sword. It's something you'd see on like a pirate's cutlass or or some sort of rapier. How yeah. big is the slot where the blade is missing? Uh, uh, sword mm. size. Well, I guess it. Well, I guess it's interesting. I mean, hmm. Uh, is, 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 it, is it big for Borky or does it fit Borky's hand? It's a little small for you. I panic! I got you a sword! Oh, there you goody. go. I smash it. Another Borky, 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 Another thing that'll Borky, probably Borky, get broken Borky by a magical tree. It's missing the sword part, though. Do yeah. I, like, th this is actually important. Does Greckles hear them through the wall? No, it's. They're, they're, you're muffling. But okay. You're, you're, that's your actually, attention, that's actually your good. attention is upstairs at the moment. Right. If you're I was, to... No, I, I would, I would like to keep an ear for that, but I want to make sure they weren't being so loud that I could hear them. 
No, so no, they're being so pretty quiet. Porky has okay, now cool. Porky just underhand pitches this, the the sword handle to him. There you go, Paddock. You can like like tape all in your blade onto that or something. I don't know. Okay. Uh, it, it it seems like it's fit more for like a human's hand, so it does fit nicely in your hand, Panic. Great. Two sword handles. I can do nothing with. Panic. Thanks, you, Porky. You, Panic. You said that the, the you felt magic in here, right? I do indeed. Uh, Is that I activated down, over time? I, it's it lasts for an hour. Okay. Yeah, it's coming from the hilt. Oh. Maybe Tass, there's more to it. It's an enchanted Tass, sword hilt. Yep. Tass puts down one of the apples they have from the farm. It might sound crazy, but try slicing it like there's actually a blade. Why don't okay. you do that thing where you know? What do you think? There's like an invisible blade or something? Possibly. If so, if so wow, nice. Borky. You just I, tossed I, that right at me. Axe and it's not big enough for my hand, okay? I feel like I, feel like I have a fork for dinner. <laughs> it's what it feels like, okay? I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to skewer the apple. Okay, with... nothing, <laughs> nothing happens. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Now I have two sword oh, hilts oh, and oh, I feel oh, foolish. Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna ritual identify. Ten minutes? Okay. Yeah. Uh I would like you to go under a new tab that we have called items. What? Ooh. We have a new tab? And Hot diggity daffodil. Alright, you oh said, ten, you said ten minutes. Uh he's gonna ritual cast. If yeah, so if it's ten have, minutes. You guys have Digsby, a little break. Yeah, so. Digsby's just gonna be sitting outside uh it should be uh, revealed there for you in the items tab. Just call me Deckard Kane. You should maybe read it out loud too. Uh, I'm looking for it. It's I under guess. locations. There's items. If you drop down items, there should locations, be locations, items. Oh, this thing. Uh, okay. I Copy see. cutter. Uncommon weapon, one handed, requires attunement. An enchanter's hilt carved from the bone of an ancient creature long forgotten to time. This weapon takes the form of whatever damage dealt to the wielder. When the attuned wielder has damage dealt to them, a copy cutter adjusts to a form that reflects the damage taken. A creature attuned to the copy cutter is proficient with the weapon. The copy counter the, the copy cutter counts as a one-handed oh. finesse weapon. The following transformations will occur when struck by a non-ally and cannot be triggered by self-inflicted damage. Slashing. The copy cutter turns into a sharp scimitar that deals 1d8 slashing damage on a hit. Oh. Ooh. Is this... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to not read the rest of those because I want those to be surprises. Okay, yeah, we can keep those surprises. That is... Rolling Ooh. an insight on Panic's face. <laughs> that is really perfect for your character, holy crap. I know! I was like, is this a statement? <laughs> Great! <laughs> More reasons to get hit by being 15. Uh, are you hiding your emotions, Panic, or...? Uh, Panic j uh, Panic is... got a little bit of a, uh, of a smile on his face. Task but, uh, he's he's kind of like, I have to get hit to do okay, this. Have to go time. It, the, seeing that smile, seeing that smile, Task calls out his hand. Then I'll take back my, uh, my sickle, please. Panic, not even looking away from the blade, just hands it back over. Thank you. I'm going to take back my spear as well. Where is it? <laughs> uh, oh, I gave it back yeah. to you earlier. Well, he walks away. It sits down beside Diggs. <laughs> looking for an invisible one that isn't there. <laughs> this is just... I... Oh god, I have so many this questions weapon. with this weapon. <laughs> so you can you you can apply your dexterity bonus to those, those damage-based attacks, too. Nice. Yeehaw. Yeah, but you do have to attune to it, which I believe takes a short rest. So yeah, I, I, it th it's like an hour or something, I think. Uh, is it an hour? Don't make out with it. Why are you making out with the hand of there? Uh, attune. Yeah, attune, when, you, when you when you approach Digsby, he put something he put something in his pocket and just looks like. Oh, uh, was was that Armsby oh, there? Uh, was was it was it Armsby that was playing with the thing, or was it uh, Digsby's hand? Yeah, arms, arms be puts it. In uh, it requires arms a short it. rest, and you have to focus on the item for that short rest. So okay, if you guys yeah, want to take our, a short arms, rest, arms be uh, shove something in a sat in my satchel. Does arms be kind of like have his own mind for things, or does he like listen to you like a pet? How does it work? Uh, well, the way I was a little, the uh, he's actually a little more clear headed than I is because you don't have one. 
<laughs> AK high five. on track. It go, goes for a high high five four <laughs> with Digsby. Digsby no high arms five. Me. Does arms be down low? No, nope, too Yeah, slow. he does. Arms be actually starts flipping around <laughs> angrily oh, like he's is mad. The, is the arm just like full on like like das uh, das bow shit? It like shakes yeah, its yeah, hand he's, like yeah, you're, he's you're, you're dastardly div, like you dastardly, <laughs> and then goes back to his side. Got him. Okay. So you guys gonna take a short rest? Or you guys gonna continue forward or? Yeah, let's do the short. Okay. You guys can heal with hit die. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oh, forget. Sorry. How, how long was that wait that we just did? Uh, it's like a like a like a baby two hour hours I think so. two hours an hour so you guys kind of just rest and eat a ration that sort of Ooh. thing uh, yeah I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna attune to copy cutter okay all right sorry I didn't mean to roll that um how, how many hit die is a short uh, rest you guys can use your hit die so you can use up to the maximum number of hit die so you guys are level five so you can use five hit die to heal yourself oh well is, I'm uh, full HP, is so a hit die a d8 Plus your constitution oh, wow. modifier. Uh, so. Uh, okay, I'm good. Yeah. So that's your constitution modifier, I believe, is a plus five. So you just healed for 10. Oh, yeah, they're not. And then you and, just healed for eight. And now I. All right, I, that's I'm, enough. I, I'm short rests are how I'm. <laughs> short rests are how I'm surviving Curse Strahd at the moment. So I should know this by now. All right. Uh, you focus on Copy Cutter. Um, it has, you get this sort of weird vibe from the sword, not a bad vibe, but it is such a goofy thing. Um, it's, it seems very weirdly out of place here, but. Is, is it, is the, is it like incredibly light because it doesn't have a blade? Yeah. When it's a hilt, like, like it's, it's incredibly light. Mm. All right. So I guess we should move on then. Okay. You guys need some more armor. <laughs> you say that now. <laughs> that isn't that is an interesting weapon you have now, Panic. Well, w w weapon is okay. Mm. Go. Let's. It, it's sort of a it's sort of a literal double-edged the... sword. Plan, by the way, guys. No, we're just about to go up. But it ain't got no blade. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Good one. Good one, Dave. <laughs> All right, now here's the plan. Krakos, go upstairs and check to see if the coast is clear. Sound good? Everyone good? Borky, hey, shut up and take on, point. Man. Be nice. Do you want me to say play? Krakos leers at you very angrily. You an arrow in your butt. Don't mean you need to be that butt hurt, Borky. Just carefully tiptoes <laughs> upstairs. Okay. Task. I really am just this close. As he holds up his talents ever so slightly apart. Tax Tax looks at him. You know, Greckles, we I've heard a human child say this. We have ninety nine problems and patience with Borky is not one of them. <sighs> All right. <laughs> what? Dunt, 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 dunt. What human hey. children do we know that knows Borky? Uh, oh, sorry. There it is. Into the wall. the wall there. <laughs> mm. What's am... this, I wonder? <laughs> 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 ah! Get out of there. You're not allowed in there. Uh, just doing, door. like, like stealth move. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> not just doing a Metal Gear Solid. All right, before Borky does anything stupid, I'm going to investigate the door. Or rather, <laughs> um, perception the door. I, I, so, I have an answer for you. Uh, I have an answer for you, Panic. Meryl. I don't think tish. she'd be that rude. <laughs> Meryl? Meryl. <Yeah>, she's... <laughs> oh my God. she's a Meryl... shit on the edge. Meryl's friends, maybe. I don't know about Meryl. Yeah, I was about to say, like, we were at an assembly, and I'm sure all the f kids there were just like, what the fuck is going on? Okay. Uh, no traps. Uh, looks like a well-used door. Is it locked? Does it have a padlock on it? No, it's completely unlocked. Hey, gang, before we proceed any further, I'm going to pull out the compass and see where it's telling me to go. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right. Uh, I will ping where it is telling you to go. It appears to be pointing you that direction there. To the le uh, right in front of us? Uh, about south, southwest a bit. Okay. Uh, Task will hold out the compass to the direction it's telling him to point to, to signify where they need to go. 
Gre Greckles gets behind uh, Digsby. Digsby, you all right? Yeah. All right. That was good. 14, Just pats him 14, on the 14. shell. All right, guys. I'm gonna mm. open the door. Now you sure, Greckles, there's no tracks, right? Greckles grins okay, and does Just nothing else. Be, uh, a silly, a silly goose to get an arrow in my butt. Borky slowly opens the door and peeks his head in. <laughs> Gooses are birds. <laughs> <laughs> not wrong. They're the jerkiest Gosh, birds. News. There's three more doors down the way. Yay! Doors is like true. holes in walls. <laughs> Borky just. Borky, right, Borky so. just middle your soul with dives. Task, task, task is consent, continuously looking at the compass. I got Taurus. I'll bring him over. Okay. Greckles would actually like to listen to the door in the north and possibly the south. Okay. Uh, you lean up against the door. Uh, roll a perception check. Watch out! That is a 12. So you don't Borky hear checks the door to the south real fast. And Borky, ooh. Borky's okay. perception, perception check. check. Mm. Puts his ear up against the door. Perception, sorry. What is perception? Hmm. Eleven. Hmm. You don't hear anything either. The compass is telling us in the this door in front of us, oh, the sorry. one to the south. <laughs> Taz points at the compass now, and points to the door. Idea? Should we check the other rooms to see if there's any more stuff to have? Well, I actually have a plan, Task. What's that? If we want to get in and get out. I can trap the other two doors, just in case we alert anything once we finally get into this room. Make there's it still, so. There's still a big guy walking around here. Mm. Okay, I've got... I have 12 caltrops, so... I have a net as well, one singular net left. Is, um... Does this five foot square right here and this five foot square right here, are those technically walls and the five foot square here is the only entrance? This 10 feet here, that's your door right there. Oh, okay, I wasn't sure about dimensions. So yeah. in that case, I'll put two here to cover and then okay. two here to cover the 10 feet. You'll have to move over there. So Digsby is going to stand pretty much directly in the middle of the hallway okay. and cast Divine Sense, just kind of feel around him. I don't know why I did it twice, but it did it twice. It was just really <laughs> emphatic about it. Yeah. Uh, celestial fiend or undead. No, you don't, you don't sense any celestial fiend or undead. Um, cool. Uh, let me, let me be quiet stealth boy. Okay. That is a 17. God, that that one's scary. <laughs> um, where, did you, so, where, did you, where are you stealthing to? Or are you just going up against the I'm door? Trying, no, I'm trying to walk as quietly as possible. That's the Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. You're so good. I'm gonna walk to the door to the north, put two uh, two five foot squares on the ground. Okay. And then slowly make my way over. Okay. As you make your way over, your foot hits a piece of string invisible to you, and a latch above you opens a compartment and you are covered head to toe in barbecue sauce. <laughs> God damn it, I oh knew this God. was gonna happen. It was instantaneous. The moment Ooh. your foot hit that, it, it actually fills like most of the hallway oh. at this point. Is it point. like an ocean of it? Uh, I'll show you. Did... It's a lot. It's it's a lot. It basically covers. Uh, oh my god! It's the Panic shiny. Bends. This area. Panic bends down. Uh, Panic bends down. Dips his pinky in it. Yeah. Same for Digsby. Tastes it. It's it's the it's barbecue the good sauce. chicken. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, it's, I'm so sorry, but Greckles, you are absolutely doused in it at this point. Don't let it get in your arrow wounds. <laughs> <laughs> Panic. Yes. <laughs> you, see, you see Greckles just like defeated, arms hunched over, walk over to him. Can, can you do the thing? I'm kind of entranced by how delicious you are. <laughs> Bork, I'm already worried. I pressed it to him. I want just hey. Borky to just be like, just go up beside Greckles and just lick his face. <laughs> I would, no, Greckles would punch you before you get that close. <laughs> uh, that's good eating. That's good eating. That's it's good. Awesome. I'm rolling it right now. Roll it right now. <laughs> he missed. Um, he gets the lick off. Successful licking. <laughs> Come on, Grex. Come on, Grex. Greckles looks at you very angrily. You actually you actually see veins start to appear around his eyes, and his eyes are 
Beatty, you see him grit his teeth, and oh you don't see God. that happen very often. Oh my God, that bird has teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, especially because he doesn't have teeth. I press the digitation. All right, you clean it right off. It's like you literally pull your hand back with the spell, and then all of the barbecue sauce comes with it, and then you let go, and it just goes to the ground. You are clean. I'm going to bottle some of that. <laughs> yeah, you can bottle a lot of it. There's enough there, and it's not like you've been fouled by the ground that you can actually like well, get a decent amount of sauce. I, I look to this guy, and I say, are you watching? <laughs> Carry on your legacy. <laughs> so, how... <laughs> Random bugbear whose barbecue sauce is pretty alright. It's, it's, it's like, it, 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 it is, it is. Oh, this is not a, I didn't, you know, I planned this out. I'm like, yeah, I won't be that stupid. I'm like, no, now I'm hearing it. It's pretty stupid. <laughs> barbecue uh, sauce. All right. So you're going to try to put the cow drops in front of the door? After that, no. Okay, not, so you leave no, that door? No, no I'm just going okay. to leave that alone. Are Borky? you going to try and, like, listen for anything Bor on Bor that side Borky, or anything like that? Borky kind of, like, feels bad, and Borky's like, okay, fine, he's joking around, Greg goes, okay, freaking bird. Rolling a perception check, 20. Uh, Borky, you hit, your foot also hits a wire. Another <laughs> compartment opens up, and you are dumped with parsley. How much of <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it's like about a grocery bag's worth of parsley. It just poof, crashes on top of your head. It doesn't hurt you. It's more of a is mild nuisance that works, but Borky's ears and stuff and hair. Yeah, it's all it's all Borky in your hair too. What kind of fucked up architect? Jeremy, I believe we are, um, we are entering into a great area of japes. You Tess. do have. Oh, sorry, yes. guys. It's called Tess, sauce panic. Diverting. Digsby, I actually really don't like this. I don't we, either. We know something up here is big, and. With all of this in mind, the, the cook's downstairs, and now us getting seasoned. I don't think we need to be up here very long. We need to be extra careful. I'm, I'm sure there's something that would eat any and all of us. Uh, Borky, you do hear a voice. What do I hear? What do I hear? From where you're standing. Uh, you actually hear, like, singing. Like, kind of ho-hum, jail time tune is, is singing. Is it a male or female voice? What? Uh, female. Is it coming from in front of me? It's coming from over no, here. Is that speaking a language he discerns? Mm -hmm. um, I will say also you don't notice any strings. Uh, I I was gonna say I rolled a twenty in perception. Yeah, but it's, there's only there was only appears to be the two. Uh, but they do look like they do reset, so um, might be best to maybe walk over sense. them. How much power? How can, how can we how have? Can, how can we step over guys, that? Which no is one invisible. go back to the bonfire. Do not. Uh, I will I will show it to you. <laughs> uh, okay, so Borky Borky turns nice. to the guys. Hey, guys, I hear a voice. It's a lady. Well, don't well, scare it off one. like that other one. Shoot, well, sorry, if can't be more specific. Question of the hour. If we're on, if we've already activated all these traps, I'm more than certain she's gonna notice us at any way. No matter which door we take, we may as well grab the prize which and leave at this point. Into, though. It was this. Tash just holds his hand gingerly to the door he's standing next to. That's where yeah, the compass is telling us to go. Here. The door in front of me. Let's do. Borky, do you really want to try and get into another fight after hey, everything we've been through here? I'm okay if the talking magical sword is a lady. I'm okay with that. That could be fun. What is. Okay. We have to have a talk oh, about the we'll, magical we'll swords we'll that can done. talk. We'll talk later. <laughs> Taz calls okay. his face. We are wasting what are we time. Doing here? Okay, add, add, a, add a character. Okay. Add, add a character. Get over here. Ignoring the two, the two north. The two... Everyone's in agreement to go, okay, fine, go yeah. south. Yeah. Forky walks back, steps over the invisible rope. Yeah, you step over the Forky seasoning is, the way, strings. He's got, like, and... Lots and lots of. Uh, barbecue sauce all over his body from getting too close to grackles and has the parsley in his hair so he's just like no okay so here's what we're going to do a few of us will open the door and go inside while the rest of us stay outside so the people who don't go in are not ambushed one two three don't eat and go i'll hold the back i think i'll stay outside <sighs> grackles let's go all right okay Everyone, everyone, give us a little bit of space. Yep, I will. I will stand over here with my arrows at the ready. You stand over here, okay. ready to mage hand. 
Borky just kind of just... Borky, Borky. Oh, well, get out of the way. Door. Borky, no, we're, we're mage handing it. Borky gets out of the way. <laughs> God's on my head. I'm gonna lean up against that. Gonna lean up against the wall and just peek in. You see another decrepit rug, uh, no real value, and basically kind of just an empty room. Check the ceiling. Nothing. Same ceiling. More crumbled though. Like definitely, there's some water leaking through. Um, Does the compass tell us to go south? It's keep telling you to. It's kind of telling you to still go south, south, uh, southwest. Southwest. Mm -hmm. What do you think? It's telling us to keep going south, but it is pointing west. So it's basically, if from where you're standing, it's pointing you about here, essentially. The pointed around. I would say hug the wall. Yes. I don't trust you anything have to in this place anymore. Hug the entire wall, Gregos. I'm gonna heckle you all damn day. Greckles Greckles doesn't, no, Greckles does not respond. He's focused on this. Pa panic, since you're the one closest to the door, T mage hand it. All right, I'm, I mage hand the door open very gingerly. It's locked. Hmm. It's all you, looks back to Greckles. Looks over to Borky. Okay. No, never mind. Uh, Greckles gets five feet away. And uh, let's get that uh, mage hand lock picking it going again. All right. Stand, stand over here and ready action to follow. Pick roll thieves tools. Actually, I'm gonna do that from over here. Uh, boop 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 boop. Blop. That is a 15. All right. Yeah, you managed to do it. Uh, the door <laughs> opens up. It was actually a fairly complicated lock. Um, and you do notice around the lock itself are a bunch of like marks that look like weapons. Uh, which looks like someone was trying to get in here, but couldn't. Oh, like slashes and things like that? Yeah, like the bugbears probably just tried to take their weapons to it and they couldn't open it up, so they gave up. Inside, you see... Study. Almost tome like The moment you open up the door, you guys all just get a mouthful, except for you, Dixby, and Taurus, and Task. Uh, you guys all get a mouthful of just old <laughs> dust. It's really <laughs> archaic. Oh, musty. Oh, well, less appetizing now, if anything. Uh, Orky, as you enter the room, you see to the left of you uh, what appears to be a very old, 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 almost dry, broken apart desk with a few papers scattered and a book. Um, you also see uh, a skeleton to the right of you, very, very old, ancient, almost almost barely in pieces. Looks like it's been gnawed <gasps> on by rats. Forky runs oh, out of the room. Oh, there's a skeleton in there, panic. Mm. Greco's is going to quietly move into the room, seeing Borky run out. Okay. Task is this where it's pointing? Is that is that the case? Uh, it is pointing you in the direction this way here. Looks like it. Just stay quiet. Yeah, I'll roll stealth as well. I, I rolled an 18, just by the by. Okay, yeah, you, you like do a front roll. And you kind of... Oh, natural one! Walk right to a wall! You take one step, and based on where the door is and how long this has been entombed, there's been a bit more water damage in the room you are in, so that you actually get your foot kind of caught on sort of a, a divide in the stone quality, and you just fall face first onto the ground. <laughs> Gre Greckles helps up task. Oh, well. Don't worry, it happens to the best of us. Right. This place sucks. I agree. Well, sorry. Well, well, sure. No, that's... <laughs> it's true, though, it does. All right. Slowly, carefully. First of all, that's, that's just an old desk, days. right? Yep. He's scared of the skeleton. Okay. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to poke, poke it with my short sword, Wakazashi. Okay. You, you, you stab a desk. Hey, after the day we've been through, we can't really tell. Fair enough. All right. Um, hey, help me rummage through this thing, Task. Uh, Panic, I could probably use your help, too. Yeah, okay. All right. Roll Investimagate. Oh, hold on. 
Oh, well. Oh. oh. No, 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 you're good, you're good. Sorry. Okay. Oh, that no hole. No, hold on, it's actually a mimic. Uh, you, Greckles, you just find like a bunch of old papers that look like they used to have ink on them that you just just melted like away. and stuff, yeah. Yeah, Tass. Yeah, I mean, you kind of dig through the same, you kind of find the same stuff. Wow, two doubles uh, in a row. Wow, that's right? weird. Yeah. Ritual detect magic again while they're searching. Ritual detect magic, okay. Um, so that's 60 feet, correct? Yes. No, wait. Let me look. Okay, you do detect yeah, it's magic. 60 feet. You do detect magic, but not in this room. Um, and as you guys are kind of looking through, eventually, uh, Greckles, uh, you do find a book, uh, that is readable. It is written in, uh, common, actually. It is very, very old. It barely has a cover to it. Uh, and you can find it under found documents. Okie dokie. I have so many tabs now. Um, oh, shit, yeah. Sorry, it's the only way to make No, no, it's, it's fine. It's just like, wow. <laughs> uh... Ancient Tattered Journal? Yeah. Okie doke. <laughs> uh, as you're kind of flipping through, there's just some pages that you can't even read. There's like pages of stains, wine stains, amongst other things. Um, but you're able to kind of find a few pages that are, are legible. Guys, pile around here. We just heard a female voice. We'll check this out. What does it say? You guys gonna gather around or yeah, yeah. Digsby, are digs Are you gonna stay over there? Are you gonna uh, let let them uh, stay I, I, guard? I assume, I assume we don't hear. Oh, you guys are gonna stay guard. Okay. Um, Tara will stay guard at the door here. Actually, no, he'll be he'll be a good boy. He'll he'll guard this door right here. Good boy. All right, who wants to actually read this out out loud? Uh, okay, I can edit it so that way uh, Panic can read it as well as. I'd like to read it. There you go. You guys go can find it. it under the. Well, ancient- no. All right, let's see. Ancient Tattered Journal. Don't drop us, fams. Oh, boy. Here we go. Page one. The king's new companion still perplexes me. I fear not means of adultery. Even in the most experienced romantic can see there is no expression of passion, sharing uh, sharing of honed words. How could this harlot come and usurp my position at the king's side? What relance could... Uh, Reliance? Am I saying that right? I'm sorry. Reliance. Reliance. Re- Reli- sorry, Jesus Christ. What reliance could this Sidori have that I do not? It's baffling, confusing. Sidori's origins, I ask the most reliable sources, the most influential guilds with impressive reaches, yet there are no answers. So soon the question becomes not who they are, but what they are. I fear not mastermind of Gnash. No genius of orcish blood, dwarven breed. Halfling they appear, but it cannot be. A demon, perhaps? Celestial, even. They do not rest. They do not eat. What is Siduri? There is no prayer, no need for sacrifice. What are their demands to be at the king's side, but a place to simply be? Combat prowess, wisdom beyond measure, and the stra- and strangest of all... They come into my sacred study and read the ancient language text as if they were a handsmaid in sappy love literature. Unflinching translations of long dead languages, perhaps a spell of comprehend languages? But even then, my spells do- uh, my spell doesn't yield answers to these in- illegible texts. Perhaps a mischievous mind playing tricks on me, filling me with false hope that one day I'll transcribe these texts. I am the king's most esteemed sorcerer, I must search further. It's my duty to absolve all mysteries I encounter. So by the grace of our gods, flip page. I have been shadowing this Sidori, watching their every move, strong and resilient, noble and strong, not leaving the king's side like a loyal lapdog. Curse them. It should be me standing beside the king in those battle in those battle briefings. Bah, so be it. I will search more and more. I have found a small lead and will work from there. I, t- I have been too concerned with the halfling that which they are. There is more to it than that. I detect magics at work. Flips page. This page is stained with blood, and there are faded places. It's really hard to read. You see Tass squint at the page as he tries to decipher it. Of course the... Ugh, no... I just say blank for those. Yeah, yeah. yeah for, for, the, for the podcast, I'll just go blank. Of course it's the blank. Known it. Sidori isn't anything. 
They're nothing. They're a blank, and I can prove it. No wonder she says she's a cano blank. It's because it is them. He actually writes himself laughing in here. When the That's kind of strange. When the king hears about blank, days are numbered, Sidori. Once everyone knows blank, it certainly explains the language knowledge. It, see, blank can retain what she has learned in blank. The rest of it is just completely overtaken by blood and age. Uh, Greckles, I need you to make a charisma saving throw for me. God damn it. Oh, uh, fuck's sake. Hacha! Wait, what was okay. it? Oh, 10. Okay. Uh, Greckles, uh, as you're reading it, um, Greckles, you feel something enter you. Oh, oh no, oh, no! Oh, dear. Is it another arrow? Oh! You feel your soul pushed out of the way for another. Cool. You are now possessed. Uh, Yeehaw! And... So do you want to re-roll your character now or after the session? I need everybody <laughs> to roll initiative, including Greckles. What? Oh. Oh. 14? Well now, well, now the two oh. tanky boys are at the other end of this one. Alrighty. Hold on. Boy, I'll for you, though. The boy was tall and he was super big. 18. Uh, he was super... Nice. You guys aren't aware of this uh, just yet because you guys uh, stepped away. So. <laughs> Man. I have an initiative order. Quite sure it's Dusty, isn't it, Crackles? Greckles. Remember that? Remember that episode <laughs> where the rats were? They have the hey. nightmare. I'm not stew. That's what Greckles do. <laughs> I'm not Greckles. Twenty-three. Ep- episode title: Greckles. Greckles gets a officially. Greckles <laughs> heckled. There's a lot of heckling uh, happening. Drag me Ooh. to Greckles. Oh wait, I don't think you roll initiative. I think this is gonna roll initiative for you, actually. Okay. Sorry. Uh, yeah, you still get initiative order, but it is not you are you are there, but not right now. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh shit. Okay, I should have left it with the other thing. Oh no. Okay, it, you know, only plus one, but still puts it right there. Okay. Freckles, you are currently possessed, and then we have what a foul day. Uh, oh, panic. <laughs> It might actually, in all things considered, it probably was the best that I got possessed. Uh, yeah, if only Borky stayed in the room, then it would have been really interesting. Oh, I just realized I've not been adding my plus two to my damage rolls when I'm like, because my dueling. Yeah, you might want to do that. Yeah. Well, probably if you have the shield, that. you can't do that. Especially well, on Greckles. Oh, wait, with no, no, the, no, no. With no, the no, shield, no. I should be doing you that. You do get that. That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh. Sorry. I got confused. Uh, sorry, I'm just doing initiative orders. Yeah, fighting yeah. styles are always weird. Yeah. You see, see Digsby just come in with the shield instead of whacking it over Greckles' head when his spirit comes back. Spirit be gone! Spirit be gone! All right, panic as you're like kind of leaning over uh, Tass's shoulder as Tass just finishes reading that. You just notice Greckles pull out his wakazashi and one of his darts and just starts like he doesn't look great. He's got ethereal light coming out of his eyes as he is glaring intently at task in, in, in obscene anger at the moment. Greckles, I know today was rough, but come on, man. Do you, do you want the sword? <laughs> can I, I can, can I whisper you a thing, Monty? Sure. Okay. Let me actually get you. Um... All right, I'm gonna wish you thing real quick. I'm not being mean. You were the closest no, 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 to no, no, where no, no, it no, came no. from. I'm just. You have no. no. <laughs> After everything that's happened this session, you have no idea how bad I want to do this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're so mad. Why are you mad? You're gonna beeline straight to Borky, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you will have to make, like, I'll, I'll, you have to make a check, okay? I, I will, will say go you... for it. Okay, absolutely. I'll, I'll say for I funnies, just, I'll I let just it happen. I imagine Borky but, um, Borky and panic, do you, do you do anything? Do you, do you um, want to make a check, do, potentially? Yeah, I'm going to make a, actually, I'm going to make a check to see. That would be a religion check, actually. I am proficient in that. Religious, religious, man. Uh, <laughs> it's just for songs. Okay. That's a 13. Okay. 
Ah, uh, some sort of threckles, you're not sure what exactly. Um, but it's bad. Whatever it is. Uh... Well, okay, um... I'm... I'm just gonna really carefully watch him, and if he makes sort of like an aggressive move, I'll I'll go after him. Okay. I gotta pull up your character sheet. And I'll I'll hold my action. Okay. Alrighty. Uh Digsby, you have uh you have no idea what's going on, sure, honestly. Sure, so uh, do, do we do we hear a commotion? No, there's no commotion. Um the Gre- Greckles hasn't moved, so there's been no commotion. Except for you hear them reading the book out loud. Oh, um. And, but you don't really I've, hear what they're saying. You hear. Rawr, 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 rawr. I've I've got a question actually. Can I move on a held action? Uh, no, you can't. You're just holding your action. Okay, well, in that case, can I sort of like get in front of them? Just be uh, like, just be like, hey man, are you alright? As a Hoketh cleric, is there a roll I could make to see if I can just feel something wrong? You you did that, but it was outside of your range, sadly. That was your your sense there. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, but I mean, yeah. like, just in this situation, like, is uh, there a role I can make right now, right? Like, feel something. You, you, uh, you could just re- redo your divine sense. I, 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 I'd, I'd have I'd have no reason to right now, though. Like, I, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to find sense. like an in character reason to figure out like something's going on in there. Like, is there something Set. I could roll? I mean, perception, but I'd say with disadvantage because you can't really hear them unless right. you hone your, your turtle ears and hope for the best. Sadly, you, you stay too far back, so yeah, you don't hear anything. You, to you, everything's as is, as normal, so. Yeah, I, 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 am vi- I am vigilantly watching them. Yep. Unless from out here. Nothing, except for the sound of gross, disgusting, slopping barbecue sauce. There's really nothing to report. And um, this delicious, smoky smell. I will say you can hold an action if you'd like. Uh, like, because you yeah, are guarding, yeah, uh, yeah, so... I'm, I'm, I'm holding an action until something gra- uh, grabs my attention. Okay, exactly. Uh, that brings us to the question mark uh, current situation. Um, as Greckles is going to leave, is going to bonus action dash. Do, do, do with the wisdom save for me real fast for me. Um, guide you. Yep. Okay. That was an eleven. Sadly, no. Do, do, uh, um, so he's he's darting out of the room, right? No, he's not. He failed the wisdom check, so he's gonna actually attack you. Oh. Um, <laughs> well, then my held action, uh, I'm going to trigger that. Okay. He. The he's second to... the second he looks like he's about to swing at me, I reach out and I go to touch his face. Okay. Doing a touch uh, attack. Yep, I sure am. Uh, where is it? Greg, you're gonna have to take. You're gonna have to watch your health for this. Well, no kidding. Yeah. Don't worry. Jeez. I'm fine. It's still curse. The still curse. It. You touch him. Nothing happens. What? What? It just doesn't work. Huh. Oh. Well, the magic just fizzles. The etherealness almost eats your spell as you touch him with that spell. Okay, I turn to task. Something's wrong with Greckles. Yeah, it's pretty obvious when that doesn't work. Yeah. Something's wrong with Greckles. Help me hold him down. (laughs) Not my turn yet. (laughs) I'm fucking crazy. (laughs) But he is going to go to the I'm a fucking bird. I like to hurt all the people. Uh, Let me see. (laughs) She's like, his head turns like 180 degrees. He starts screaming. Let me see. Uh, That feel when Becky doesn't give you blue. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Does a seven? Does a 17 hit you? Panic. Yep. Okay. Uh, That is eight points of uh, piercing damage as Ow. your friend swings and just slices up your side, like your front. You're not really expecting it. No sneak attack damage, because you are aware something's wrong. Sure. Uh, he takes the acid dagger of stab, and he's going to go for another attack on you. Give me blue, give me blue, give me blue. Uh, that is two, so that misses completely. I can't, um, I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> he swings, and you hear this sort of guttural 
voice in a way that's <laughs> coming from his bird. Like something's trying to talk, but it's not used to having a beak. Um, so. Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, ash, 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 ash. like it doesn't. It's not used to not having lips. Um, what? Quick panic! So... Say what are you? Gonna, quick panic! What are you gonna do? <laughs> quickly say what are you gonna do? Stab me! It's important. Uh, that and his turn. Uh, task you see as Greckles stabs Panic. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to. All right, I'm going to yell out. Holy man, what? get in here now! One second, I'm telling him a story. He's throwing the net? All yes. right. Now, I, I looked into the net. You can you can only net as your full action. You can't do like a multi-attack with the net, so. Oh the yeah, net no. Will, I, the I, net I, actually I, takes up your bonus action too, apparently. Uh, that's, that's what I was told, so. That's yeah. fine. I, I, just want, <laughs> I just wanted to at least make sure I at least got their attention and okay. throw in a net. All right, throw in a net. 26! 26. All right, let me just quickly grab a net here because I forget the rules. Panic's just clutching his side. Look, I agreed he wouldn't be angry about it, but that doesn't mean you can hit me for free now. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, the creature can use his action to make a DC 10 strength check, freeing himself or another creature within its reach. Uh, all right, so I want you to roll for me, uh, Greckles. I want you to roll a strength check on my behalf. Oh, good. My best stat. Mm -hmm. 11. He, oh. In his rage, he swipes and cuts. Um, and. Oh, wait, that's he's got to do that on his turn. Never mind. I read that wrong. Oh. Okay. So you hit him. Yeah, absolutely. Yay! Yeah, you got him. So you are currently, Grekel is currently trying to, like, his beak is, like, opening and closing, like a Pez dispenser, like, ah, 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 like trying ah. to say something. <laughs> Uh, but you throw the net over it, and like the beak gets tangled, and like he's swinging with the with the wakazashi and the acid dagger stab, and just getting more and more tangled in it. Uh, so yeah, you managed to net him. I'm sorry, I misread that. I read that in the wrong. There's the first part, and I missed it. So my bad. But yeah, you Dig, net uh, him. Digsby hearing that, I guess, moves into action. Yeah, you can you can take a movement as your reaction, I'd say. Um, but you regularly, when you hold an action, you only have an action, but you can, I could say, do your oh, dash action as right your now? reaction. So yeah, you're running. Oh, what the heck? Oh, yeah. More, yeah you're hearing like, panic yelling. Going on in here? Oh um, my God. Uh, and then Taurus is like scared and confused and she's like, I'll just sit here. Taurus just sits down. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to give you a heart attack. Good. Like, what's happening? It's like a dog where you're like- I'm you're so scared. The dog is like, I don't know what's happening. What happened? Uh, was there another okay. trap? Did it get Greckles? Greckles, uh, you klutz. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Greckles, it is now your turn. Can I make as a wisdom you... roll? No, you don't. You don't Damn. get any save. Um, as you are being possessed, you see, like, you're kind of standing in this clear area, like your mindscape, and you currently see across the way this human wizard who looks absolutely manic. One eye is bulging out, the other eye sunken oh. in. He's got this shaggled beard. He looks like a crazy conspiracy theorist, like he's gone does, insane. Does he look like the kind of guy oh, who would have this? I can't believe it's political like bum. Have the, have the job title Bigfoot expert? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I can't I can't Sam believe Greckles. I, I can't believe Greckles got possessed by the spirit of political bomb. <laughs> but uh, he's basically screaming like in calm and like, How dare you touch my things? This is my study! This is my castle! Do I have my weapons on me? Uh you're in a dream, so no. You are you aren't even wearing clothes at that point. Is he in front of class? Oh, goodness. <laughs> So wait, wait, is this, is he, is he, is he apart from me looking at me? You just know he's there. Like you're aware of him being present in your mind and in your okay. body. Like you can't do anything about it, sadly, but he's there and you now see who he is. Um, and he's just screaming like a wild man at the moment. Uh, Borky, it is now your turn. You see currently panic leaning over, Greckles. clutching himself. What did you do, um, Greckles? Oh. Borky doesn't know what's happening. What did you do? Borky runs up and <laughs> pushes okay. Panic out of the way and starts choking Greckles like Bart Simpson. <laughs> Why are you gonna? Okay. 
I need you to roll an athletics check, and then I need you, uh, Greckles, to roll an acrobatics check to get out of that. Because Athlet that's the, the goal. Athletics for me? Questionable being. Oh, well, beat it 20, buddy. Yeah. 24! <laughs> Why, you little? You oh, damn. Grab Greckles and start strangling him. He's in the net. So you are currently grabbing a netted, oh. strangling Greckles at the moment. You are shaking his body. He's still holding on to his wakazashi and his, and his acid dagger. Um, as he's just being shaken, he keeps going. I knew like he was angry at me making nose. jokes. Yeah. I was thinking, go off the, go off the deep end. Please tell me it's one of our turns. <laughs> yeah, it's Panic's turn. Please stop the madness. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Panic is just is just thinking like, uh. What do I do? I don't have anything that won't kill him and isn't magical. Boy, ain't that our problem <laughs> a as a group. Bit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I I don't I don't know what to do. You can magic hold an action. Uh, <laughs> magic, as far as I'm aware, will not work. Uh, I don't want to I don't want to metagame. Uh, he'll no. Okay, I'm I'm gonna. I think it's experiment time. So I'm gonna. I'm uh, panic's gonna just look up with really sad eyes and just gonna be like. Oh, I thought we were friends. Oh, wait, you took slashing damage. Um, Comedy yep. Cutter turns into a, ra a scimitar. Oh, oh fuck! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Panic's just gonna look up at Greckles and look right in his eyes, just be like, I thought we were friends. <laughs> <laughs> Vicious mockery. <laughs> Vicious mockery? Yeah. Want me to roll it? Uh, actually, you can't take damage from this. So yeah, um, roll roll a wisdom save, I guess. Yeah. That is a twelve. Yeah, you fail. Mm. So you take five psychic damage. Uh, you get like an eight, and, and like the little spirit inside your mind is just like, wow, fuck you, do that! <laughs> like he's oh. like screaming. <laughs> 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 so take five points of damage. Uh, the, the the man in your mind is much angrier at this point. Um, <laughs> and you, you notice as he's being strangled, he starts to kick a little oh, bit more. He's got a little more life in him. He's a flailer, all right. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, fuck. Okay. The, pa the panic just <laughs> continues to think of things that would... Can can I can I make another check just to see if I could try to figure Knowledge out what's religion? happening? Yeah, sure. Knowledge religion. That is a twenty-one. You snap your fingers. Oh shit! It's a ghost. <laughs> oh shit! It's a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> can someone encapsulate that in a piece of? <laughs> oh shit! It's a ghost. <laughs> Uh, he is possessed by a ghost at the moment. Uh, he's possessed by a ghost. He what? has not finally snapped. We'll have to wait for that one later. What? He's getting out of Greckle, squeezes harder. <laughs> All right, Gatesby, it's now your turn. See, this is why I want to buy a blackjack in the beginning. Dixby having only witnessed maybe one or two exorcisms in his time, grabs the symbol of Hoketh from around his neck. By the power of Hoketh, you must be pacified. Uh, do, 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 channel, or no, not channel divinity, where is it? What's the one I was looking at? Turn Undead, I think it's called. I don't have Turn Undead. Oh, that's a cleric. Oh yeah, no, it is Channel Divinity. There we go. Okay. Uh, you can utter a vow of enmity against a creature above you. Using Channel Divinity, you can... Oh, okay, that's something different. 
Um, yeah, the the, fir the first one is the action. If I succeed, I get the other one. Okay, the creature will take a wisdom saving throw unless it's immune to being frightened. Means an undead have disadvantage on the saving throw. Uh, all right, so that's the wisdom saving throw with disadvantage. I'm going to use the actual creature stats. <clears throat> Ooh, that is a uh, that is a 13. I believe it's a DC 14 with my charisma. All right, you expel it out. Um, well, it can't move anyway. Yeah, it's frozen, but I will say... One second, sorry, I gotta read this out. The power of Okef compels you! Leave the bird! Okay, okay, uh... Okay! All right. Uh, all right, yeah, so it, it like, the, the as, as you do that, you hold up the symbol, Grekel's beak just opens up like top side all the way, bottom side all the way. It just starts like screaming like an air raid siren. Oh, Lord. Uh, <laughs> it's like, but it's like, there's no, nothing in the way. So it's just like, oh, like, it's like a man's yell. It's very okay. odd. Okay, so Monty, I just want to tell you this. The birds that we're bait that Greckles is based off of actually make little laser noises. They so do. it works. It fucking works. <laughs> oh, perfect. Uh, but he's screaming and, he, and and appears to look quite frightened at the moment. Um uh, alright. Um, and in your mind, Greckles, as this happens, the old man does that thing, you know, where like a tiny noise scares you, go, don't do shit! Like, he does that, he's like, hey, show me shit! Like, he gets scared all of a sudden. You have no idea what's going on outside of the fact. You are just seeing this old man randomly in your mind, freaking out at the moment. Well, at, at, this, at, this, at, at this point, at uh, this point, I will sit in my own mind, cross-legged. Yeah. Uh, it is now the ghost's turn. Oh, uh, sorry. And as a, uh, I will take that bonus action, the Vow of Enmity. I will say, return to the grave! Okay. And now uh, I have- advantage uh, on attack rolls. Yeah, I, I have advantage on attack should this thing pop out. Okay. Uh, it does pop out. Um, oh. It looks female, but that's just because the, taker, the, the token looks female. Uh, you watch Borky as a ghostly figure actually rises above uh, Greckles. Greckles, immediately you come into vision. Uh, your feelings are hurt for some reason. Um, the Borky's still strangling. But the uh, there is... Yeah, you're being strangled. You're covered in a net. Um, your feelings are hurt. You smell like barbecue sauce. <laughs> it's not a good day. Uh, the ghost does pop out of Grekulus' body, uh, and it is going to move away from you. Uh, uh, it actually has no movement while it's Oh, frightened. right, it's frightened. That's right. Okay, yeah, no, it's frozen there. Uh, it is it is hovering above Greckles at the moment, uh, just for clarity's sake. It's hover hovering about 10 feet up from Greckles at this point. Uh, the ghost appears to be a very old sorcerer looking fellow with, with very, very nice robes, the same sort of visage I mentioned before and like a weird sort of like um, tiara, almost similar to yours. Um, panic, except for not, it doesn't look like it's a magical item, it's more like embellishment, but he's like shaking his face like, you dead kids, get out of my study, I have important things to do! You're dead! <laughs> what? <laughs> You're, look at you! I'm just a little sick is all! <laughs> you, do I have anything like shiny and reflective? No. Damn it. Which is surprising for you. Look at your reflection in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> As you get possessed. Don't talk to me, devil man! Intimidation. Okay. Never mind. Seven. You're short! Get out oh, of fuck. my desk! Oh, I. Mm, I, was, I, I would, if I had the strength, I would Borky, pick up the desk and Borky, hit you Borky, with Borky it, old man. Like, Look what you did to my friend! Look what you did! Borky's still strangling crackles. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, that makes it actually task. It is your turn. So the All ghost right. is currently frozen in place. In terror, you think? Scared of Digsby, but right. he's still very crotchety and not really. You have one chance to calm down, assess the situation, or we exercise you and put you to sleep forever. I ain't doing push-ups. <laughs> it's like it's like the second I thought it, you said it. I'm so damn proud of you. <laughs> You are dead! You are ethereal! You're a ghost! You don't exist! You possess someone! That's something a ghost does! Stop fighting and pay attention! <laughs> roll, roll a persuasion check. Guys, 
<laughs> What's that? <laughs> I know I'm <laughs> deaf. <laughs> Okay. Okay. It's a two. Well, shit! <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's probably my reaction, too. Yeah, no! Legitimately, this sucks, actually. Will you come I... to reason? Oh, shut up! Stop yelling! We're in a study! What happened to all my someone books? Someone stole them! Uh... It was the bug man. Mm. Oh my god, is that me? And he points past you, Digby, to the to the skeleton on the ground. Quite possibly. Well, damn! You are a... lowers his weapon. You are, are we fine now? now? Tass puts the book on the table. No, 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 don't put that there. Don't, don't put that there. It's full of secret knowledge. Long, long and forgotten. And my reports on Sudori. I'd rather keep that in, um, good condition at the moment. Oh, actually, oh, hey, you know, I'm dead. That's, so. that's open to it. It's covered in blood and aged. What did you do to my book? We found it this way. I think you did this with your blood. <laughs> <laughs> that's me laughing, not him. No one makes me laugh my own blood. <laughs> I got stabbed. Oh. <laughs> you! And he points to you, Digsby. Uh, are you a, a, a man of the grave? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> My name's Digsby. It's short for Digs, but my mates call me Digs. Okay, I'm just gonna call you Digs, but this is what our relationship is at at the moment. That works. <laughs> <laughs> I don't appreciate you poking around in my study. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. We was just in here because we what's needs to find some sort of magical doodad and... Well, we just found this place and thought it might hold a clue. We didn't mean to disturb your slumber. Do you know Although... the music? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a little past this now. Uh, the, um... The fight although... Yeah. It... Although, I, I am a bit concerned that you're so unrested. Is there anything we can do for you to help you rest? <sighs> His eyes, like, go side to side. It's very obvious. Like, oh. his little popped out eye. <sighs> well... Hmm, looking at where we're at now, I'd say that the war didn't go so well, and uh, my I'm position's not. probably done, and uh, my study's ruined, and uh, you destroyed my book, and uh, that weird red rabbit is being rude to me, and... Uh, uh, <laughs> I could be worse, okay, sir. we've seen it. <laughs> all right, all right. Look, holy right. man, I, I have a deal for you. Okay. I That's won't right. murder all of you. That sounds With my fair. unimaginable power, oh, and in return, oh, yeah. you bury my bones and my book. I can agree to this. Very well. I will forgive you for this transgression upon my keep and right. my home. Um, if if you would, um, I was actually wondering if you could impart a, a little bit of your vast no and and uh, learning knowledge on this. Oh, and what have you done for me lately? Um, you just got you done digging in my head, old man. And it was a filthy hey, place. Greco, you need to I clean up your act. Should I stop strangling you, Greg? You're going to talk. <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to roll the kick working in the balls at this point. Okay. Roll a strength check. For balls. That's a save. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God damn it, that was a good roll, too. Oh! Oh! That could be a 20. Oh! 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 That's 20, bitch! <laughs> Oh. You, Borky, at one point you're like, haha, it's funny. Greckles has a feathery oh, head. Oh, oh, that's so, that, that so hurts from earlier. Borky falls over. <laughs> <laughs> double right, nat right. 20 ball kick. Nat 20 ball 20, kick. Double nat 20 I, I, ball kick. You need Look, I don't that. think there's any wisdom I can bestow upon oh, you to help you fix oh, that. Well, do you know anything about the... Do you know anything about the hobgoblins that have taken over your keep? Hobgoblins? No, we mostly just deal with orcs. Which, by the way, murder him on your way out, too. You don't know how what tempted I am. Old man, listen. Actually, oh. um, I was wanting to know, what, what is Sidori? Oh, Sidori. Sidori actually isn't what they appear to be. They're an ancient creature, we think. Old legends and old texts. I was right about them. I was right about them. There's more to them there. They're two parts of one whole. 
At least that's what I think. What does this creature you think have a name? Mm, if it did, I don't know it. But Take a guesstimate. I think the creature's in the helmet. No. I think Shidori might have been the helmet. Oh, God. Panic just looks worried to the rest of the crew. Yeah, Greckles follows that worry look right back at you. Sir, do you have any issues with creatures known as mimics in this castle? No, I bred them as a hobby thing. How do you did, the wonderful job? Did, did Sidori come before or after this? Uh, after? Could Sidori be a sentient mimic? Maybe. His eyes just bulge out, like looking at you like, oh my god. Like he's <laughs> like he's like finally someone who understands me. Even though you yelled at him earlier. Maybe I didn't I didn't put that theory to thought. You know, I would walk up with him with maybe an item and see if you would eat it. He never did. He told me, go away, old man, you're freaking me out. Task puts the mimic teeth on the table. Don't put that on my table. (laughs) (laughs) God damn it. Does Sidori, does, and I'm guessing you spied or like lurched on Sidori for quite some time. Does this look familiar to any physiology she had? That is a tooth. It's a mimic tooth. Oh, I didn't know that. No. They never ate. They never slept. Mm. And mimics need to eat. I assume so. All right. Well, that's out. Now, either way, I'm done with you. I want to pass on and move on. Continue my studies in the ethereal plane. I can agree with this. Mm. Don't touch my things on your way out. I guess we'll, I guess we'll, yeah, I guess we'll collect you. Digsby collects the bones and put them in his knacker bag. Okay, as you do that, and the ghost just kind of fades away, disappears. Goodbye. One odd fellow. Just in uh, peace. You uh, you okay down there? <laughs> Greckles, I think you killed him. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Just give me. Yeah. Hey, uh, Patty, come yeah. on fast. Um, do you got like? Mm-hmm. Do you have a spell that does ice? Uh, uh, no. As you guys come around, Taurus starts wagging his tail like you guys are okay. Pat Taurus. Digsby offers you a hand to get up, <laughs> and basically, since you di- you didn't take any damage, but uh, healing touch for flavor. Oh. Feel like that you, you touch him. You, the soreness Ooh, somewhat walking like away. a cowboy. Yeah, Dig, as you, as you, as you grab my hand. Digs, 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 can you have a look at me? That was not a pleasant experience. Sure. Digsby boops your beak. How much health do you need to regain? Oh, I wasn't, no, like, that's, that's Greckles being paranoid that some, something residual is still within him. Oh, well, I'll just knowledge religion you. I guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm at I'm at 23 out of 28, so I'm still. Yeah, he's fine. Okay. Uh, generally, generally, like between the ghost's behavior and like you having the body and whatnot, generally speaking, you also grab the journal, right? Yes. Tash I would... just like. Oh, okay. oh yeah, um, we needed to bury we needed to bury him with it. Yep. Yeah, he yeah. has his journal. Um, he's fine. You, you sense a little bit of like ethereal like residue, but nothing that would suggest he's gonna get possessed. A little ectoplasm here and there in your orifices, but nothing bad. I'll give uh, Dick. Oh, that's good girl. news. Also, as as he does that, Tash just like lifts his ears up at the idea of what the ghost just said. Looks over to Borky, gives the Excalibur grimace. What if Borky's theory was right and it isn't? It is an inanimate object that's living. I I don't know about that task. I got a good look at our uh, door guard, and something seemed more human about him. Well, in any case, I'm still not going to throw out the realm of possibility that a mimic took on the form of something and is walking about. So not even inanimate objects are something we should uh, shouldn't take lightly. Well, we might as well just follow the compass. And see where that Where's it wants to go? 
uh, same what direction. Cost? What if he just west. possessed one of right. suits of armor like downstairs and just walking around like that? It wouldn't. Be, that that would be far too simple. Also, I didn't sense it. All right, Taurus, step out of the way. Thank you, Taurus. <clears throat> All right. So, anyone want a mage hand? And we ready? All ready to fire? Uh, let me double check the door really quick. Uh, perception. Wait, there okay. it goes. Sorry. Uh, sixteen. Okay. Uh, you look around. Uh, it is locked. Uh, give me about ten feet of space, boys. Go for it. All right. Hovering tools. Yep. Twelve. Easy enough. That hair. And <laughs> hello. Hello. There we go. Hmm. Okay. So. Dang it. I'm gonna roll stealth to get on in there. Yeah, go same for it. here. 27. No, that's me, dude. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. 27. I'll, I'll inch my way in. Okay. As you Being inch quiet. your way in. Sorry, that's the, I might have to Whoa. zoom out here. And... What? Whoop. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. That's, a big, that's a big room. It's a big, big room. In fact, as you open the door, you hear it kind of echo a bit. Um... And uh, the uh, it appears, based on what you're seeing, it looks like this was probably a throne room. Holy cow! But there's Task. no there's no throne, and most of it's just falling apart. Task, what's the what's the compass say? Pointing us to the to the uh, west. It is pointing you. Whoop! Sorry. In this direction here. Tess points over the big door over on the side. That yeah. room. There's a All very right. large door there. Well, of course. A big door for a big thing we're big are looking for. Us? Everyone? Yes. Yeah, they're like the big kind of ornate doors, pillars with like carvings in them. The thing that we're seeing. Yeah, what's this, that? This thing over here? If you want to get closer and investigate, you can. Gets a little bit close. Get, Borky gets up towards it and gives it a good gander. Perception check? Uh, okay. uh, yeah, sure. And Borky rolls, and that's a seven! Mm. What a... B his his eyes are sort of still blurry bowl. from the from the, from the, from the from the nut punch. <laughs> yeah, you're a little... Ooh. You're a little dazed at the moment. Um... Hmm. Bigsby's just running his hands along the engravings on the pillars. I guess I'll run an investigation on that. Knowledge history. Oh, knowledge history. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Although, dang, that was a fairly good roll for Digsby. History. Sorry. All right. Hey, it's yeah, that's better. a better one. Um, looking at it, it appears to be carvings of the the human culture that probably used to live here. Uh, oh. You see, sort of, as each pillar goes up, each kind of generation of kings, uh, that maybe the enemies they faced. You see orcs. You see um, some other creatures you don't quite recognize. Um, you see Ganesh creatures, the ones you saw in the graveyard, quite a few of them for a few generations. Uh, generally, it just seems to be some sort of like gatekeeping sort of thing. They're very big. Um, how close do I need to get in order to investigate the thing that Borky was looking at? Right up against it. Investigation implies you're kind of like touching into the Okay, room. okay. Ta Tass, can you cover me? Yeah, sure. Go forward. All ready, right. act ready action to uh, shoot. Roll investigation. Uh, investigation Ooh. gives you more information for this. Oh, that's a nat one. <laughs> that's a bowl. Right. Well, you look up at it. It's not a bowl because um, you're able to see it clearly. Um, and you've seen, uh, you've seen someone using something like this once before. Uh, it was actually Ty Warpington. It appears to be some sort of scale, like a weighted scale used to weight things. Hmm. Um, and it's empty at the moment. Uh, beyond that, you, you don't, you, you're kind of like, it's a bull. <laughs> We're weighing things, that's basically, you're a little tired in days, you've had a bit of a Yeah, it's been a bad day so far. <laughs> oh, uh, shit. Borky, do me a favor. Uh, give me a boost, I want to see what's inside this thing. 
Uh, you see residue of blood, um, some residue of the barbecue sauce, other things. Um, oh, Ta like you bring back Tass down, and he's just like an oh, eyes wide, like, oh no, who was it? Someone was eaten in that bowl. So it's dried blood in the barbecue were, sauce. Were you placed inside of the bowl when you were doing that? Like, no, I was like lipped over it. Okay, because it looks like it can go down. Like it looks like it takes weight. Yeah. Um, and as you actually lift it up, you notice that attached to it, or like, is appears to be some sort of weird, strange mechanism um, that's attached to the door. Ooh. Okay. Well, uh, Grekos. <laughs> uh, yeah, what's up? All right. I want you to keep your eye on the mechanism. I'm gonna use myself as a weight. If you're Bork sure that's safe. I don't, but it's the only thing okay, we got so on. far going on. Borky, push me hold in. On. Borky pulls I'll, out his I'm... rope, tie it around your waist in case, I don't know, something happens where having rope would be a good idea. We no, that's fine. I will do All so. Right. Yeah, we could, we could yank Borky. him out immediately. Okay. You're using your yep. fishing with tasks, essentially. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. much. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, Borky, uh, gonna ready an action to attack. Borky lifts him up and starts uh, giving, uh, giving hey. some uh, <laughs> fishing line for give. Yep. <laughs> Hearing this plan, Digsby moves to a new position. All right, so Greckles, you get on that mechanism. I'm getting inside. Oh, uh, no, the mechanism is the bull. Oh, I know, but like I, I want them to like watch the mechanism work as right. I get in. Uh, you step inside, there's like a straining noise, um, and the bowl goes down a little bit. There's kind of like, it's kind of like, um, there's a bowl, then there's a long sort of like, almost like a trophy, like sort of stick. And then it goes into this mechanism. And as you get on, it goes down a little bit. You hear a -tunk -tunk, but it doesn't go down all the way. Does the door react at all? Tyrus, do you need more? Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe we need a bit more Borky, weight. Borky grabs on Most the side and pulls him. Oh, oh, does... Before Borky does it, guessing Dis Digsby does it. Uh, Digsby's willing to if Borky's. Well, well, hang on a second, Borky. Don't you have something really heavy oh, in that uh, fanny hey, pack? Tyrus, get out. No, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll help him fish up. it. Like just, I'll, Bor I'll Bor pull it in. Yeah, he's, yeah, like he's, pull it yeah, in. Very he's, heavy. You, you're good. Borky gets up. It kind of stands on the side of it a little bit, and Borky just takes the bag of hold, fanny pack of holding, just. Spreads it open as far as it can, and just the gong comes out. Gong! Hey. <laughs> you have the gong now. Yeah, but Borky turned I it upside down. Borky was on the, the side of the bowl and, yep. like, turned it upside down. Just had the bowl, the, the gong slide out. Gong! <laughs> oh my god. All right, it slides out. It goes down a bit more. <laughs> it still has more give. I give a little hop. It goes back up. It Digs bounces me. back up as you hop Digs on. Me. We might need something else. All right, Borky. you're gonna have to help me Borky. up, me thing. <laughs> Borky puts his hands down for like getting that leg up thing. What the? Uh, Where the hell was meant to go in rigged. this? Maybe tubs. Probably, li probably Maybe liquid. Tubs could fit. Or sacrifice. <clears throat> okay, he managed to help up Digsby. You sit down. Maybe like maybe about five oh, inches down. Thing. Needs one more thing. Hmm. Borky looks in order. All right, all right, I got this. I'm gonna leap up. Okay. Do I need an acrobatics this? No, sucker? you you can just crawl in from from you. you. Just like there's there's a step up and then you can join and sit between. Okay. Well, I kind of like there's it's the the, the squares are kind of weird. Does that constitute a sit? Yeah, you're you're in it. You're, you're in perched. It. <laughs> um, as you guys do do that, the door uh, does open. It opens. You get a glimpse inside. Digsby's uh, holding his shield up in front of his face and holding out and like ready to pull out his shovel. Yeah, hold, like in sniper position, holds. Uh, Borky kind of slowly creeps up. Creep. Stay there. Stay there, man. Are you hmm. panic or look ahead? You guys just chill in the bowl. Borky peeks his head. <laughs> you you kind of, you kind of need. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing. Oh no, panic! I hand him the compass. Okay. What direction is it pointing? Do do we want to check to see if this locked before we go forward? I hop. You hop wait, as you wait, hop up. Wait. 
Borky so and Panic, I need you guys to make acrobatics checks as, as Tass pop, pops up. Oh no. Oh boy. I didn't just crush him, did I? Six. Oh my God. 24. Five. All right, Panic, are you diving forward or back? I'm diving forward. Diving forward, you dive forward. Uh, ah! Borky, you get crushed. Oh, you're gonna take a decent amount of damage. I'm gonna grab sixes. I don't think I like adventuring, guys. Oh. Uh, you take 14 points of uh, force damage, or uh, no, this would be yeah, crushing bludgeoning. damage. As the door, yeah, bludgeoning. That's the one. Uh, as the door slams close uh, on you, you're currently being crushed between that and the door. Uh, but get, back the the bowl. Get, get back in the bowl. Get back in the bowl. As, the mech, as you get back in the bowl, um, it all immediately Borky opens falls, again. Bork, the way it closed on Borky, it's like he's got one arm sticking out one side and one arm sticking out the other side and a leg too. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Borky falls forward. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Okay, you know what? Yes. Borky? It, let, it squished me nuts let's again, switch, it did. Let's, let's put tar... <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I was about to say, what if we put Tarsk in the bowl? I, he weighs me. Tarsk gets Tarsk gets into the bowl. I think I saw a rocket. Oh. Step, oh, Borky, step oh, forward. No. Step forward. Borky starts crawling beside Taz. He's crawling to, to beside Panic. <gasps> I'm good. Uh, I'm uh, like dragging him along. I'm getting out. Hey, okay, Tarsk takes your place. Okay, it's okay. It's, we'll all be over soon. Give him. I'm giving. I'm giving him a healing potion. <laughs> I'll, I'll ready an action to attack anything hostile if it comes in line of sight. All right. So they. I will say, room. in the bowl, if there is any attack, there's going to be disadvantage because you were in a cramp space at it's the nice moment. Of the bowl. Okay. It's warm. Oh, it's supposed to be the wise one of all of us. All right. Here, let me reveal. Tash just looks over at Panic and gives a sly grin. Yeah, we're oh, here. come on. He didn't deserve that. <laughs> oh, that's not, that's see? never a good sign. Oh. Oh, uh, you Jesus. see in the center of a room a pile of bones. You were wondering. You never really realized that there were, you know, for a place that was as abandoned as this place, there wasn't a whole lot of skeletons. They seem to have found place here. You see various other items, gold. You see the throne um, kind of all kind of built up into this horde. Um, lying on the ground and it's, looking at the compass. The compass is pointing right at that pile. All right, detect Bork, magic. Forky. Oh, down, there's down so the good. Oh, one second, one second. There's yeah, much magic. There's probably a decent amount. Let me double check though, because there might not be as much as I think. Oh, that was the moment the madness attack. That was a good memory. Uh, <laughs> uh, I gotta say, this room's pretty neato. Uh, God damn it. Ah. You... <laughs> ah, I get it. Uh, you detect a little bit of magic, not a whole lot. Um, you obviously you detect very, very strong um, conjuration magic. Uh, you also detect a, a blend, like almost a berry smoothie of other magics uh, coming from the pile as well. Hmm. I'm going to mage I'm... hand and see how far I can push it in towards the biggest source of magic. I'm going to keep an eye on that other unopened door that we've yet to go to. Okay, so you, you pull out your mage hand. How far can you, can you click mage hand for me just so I know how much it can uh, It's It's 30 feet, hang on. I need can to you know how much see it through it that uh, pillar? Yeah, there's a door there. Huh. You guys didn't go over there. Uh... Uh, you can move a hand up to 40 feet. How much can you carry? You can't attack or carry more than 10 pounds. All right, you, your hand kind of goes over to the pile. Um, it kind of begins to pick away some of the bone, I'm assuming, because it's, it's in the pile. Yeah. Um, and eventually you do reveal what looks like a giant bowling ball sized orb. Uh, it's quite large. Uh, and you can't pick it up with your mage hand. It's too heavy. <clears throat> Borky, oh, you took the hit. Tess, I'll do this. God damn it. Tess, stop, 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 stop. This is a trap. What? Daddy, something is gonna pop out. You know it. I know it. I just, shh, hold on. Of course I do. There's a rock in the other in the other room. I'm gonna go grab the rock at the end of that room. 
and put it in front of the door so that it can close and we can get everyone in here. Because I really need Diggs to heal me. <laughs> I, I, g- I gave you a healing you? potion. Uh, Diggs. Yes. Yes. He said yes. twice. Sorry, I, got I said three times, times now. now. Digsby uh, is actually going to yell out, you know, if there is something in there and you guys can run out, maybe we could hit it with the door. Yeah, That's yo. All right. All right. Well, All right, I'm going to ready a spell just in case. Okay, I'll drink the potion. Drink ready the action. potion, okay, What do I roll please. for the, this potion again? I always forget. Sorry. 2d4 plus 2d4 uh, plus 4. 2d4 plus 4. 4 plus 4, 8. Thank you so much. Hi, yes. Thank you. Yes. All right, let me let me mark down how many things I you just lost. You gained my now. appreciation, and boop, that boop, is boop. worth its weight in gold, and it has no weight, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have three Kira Minor Wound Potions now. All right, here I go sneaking again. I will draw the orb for you, so you know where it is. <clears throat> yes, please. All right, okay. Actually, uh, pa- before I go panic, let me get the compass again. Okay. Because we, we don't right. know if this is ex- exactly what we're looking for. <laughs> Hand that off. All right. So I'm I'm going to sneak in, have the compass out. I'm not going to pick up anything. I'm I'm going to wait for this thing to like wig out or like visually prove that that's what we're looking for. Okay. Sixteen. Uh, as you walk forward. Um, the compass, uh, yeah, it starts shaking, like, really, really wildly. If this thing was making a noise, it would probably make just an absolutely ridiculous amount of noise. Okay, so I have an excellent idea. I'm going to stand right here. I'm going to use my pickaxe to take the, uh, take the inner part of the blade side where the stick is and fish it out. As you do that the ground around it begins to move. Oh, of course it does. Run! Of course it fucking does! And a eye lolls and looks to you, and in Draconic it says, I would not touch that if I were you. No! And that is where we'll end tonight's ah! session. God damn it! Of course, Task comes face it's, to face with the dragon. It's a Dorgan. Good! <laughs> By the way, How's it feel, Zeno? <laughs> Good! Okay, by the way, Goomba, I had so much fun this session. Holy crap, dude. This was this was a blast. Oh, I want everyone to know that I don't actually hate it's Taka. So... We're just being our characters. Was... I want you to know there was so much what I can only describe as Hanna Barbera-esque shenanigans this episode. Oh, there dude, this, was, this there whole was. fucking this session was... was a vaudeville act. <laughs> it's so uh, dumb. The I'm door just sitting here like, on, what on, on. I'm sorry, the door closed. He's like, he's like, Cirque de Stupid. Okay, up uh, all right, I'm turning off my recording. <laughs> oh man, hold on. I just saw, I just Bye, saw. Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. I just saw an amazing suggestion oh. the poultry geist. <laughs> oh, oh, that's good. Lord. And what that's episode good. is this, guys? Is this epi- episode four? Oh, wow. 44? Yeah. Is it 44? It is 44, yep. Cool. We're kind of oh coming up Lord. on our 50th oh episode my. here. <laughs> Guys, you're so... Oh my god. We're stupid. It's okay. It's okay. No, it's... You don't know. You don't know and I can't say anything. Oh it's my, just... My oh my lord. D&D, you can solve problems there, there, in many thousands of different that goddamn ways. room. I saw it. I'm like, hey, we should put that in the bowl. But, uh... Borky, 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 we should get in the bowl. <laughs> That's what he would suggest. All right, he got some bit callouts I gotta do here, guys. Lord, it's flying here. Besides, I think with 100 bits, Nero and. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure out rating here in a sec. All right. Terribly sorry, but before you uh, do this, may, may I uh, just yeah, sign gotta, out? Because I gotta go pack to see you tomorrow. Up here. Yeah. Oh, pr- 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 plug yourself, plug yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, th- this is a lot of fun. Glad we got a little bit of back, got some of Digsby's backstory out there today. Uh, you find me at twitch.tv slash but you won't find me there for a few days because I'll be up there Woo! visiting Taka up in the Great White North. 
but when I do get back, you can find me playing some VR Skyrim, which I like to role play my character, and I play Hearthstone on Thursdays and on Sundays, Stardew Valley, and on Fridays we play oh. Burning Youth of Eorzea with Final Fantasy XIV. Anyway, thank you all so much. I, I have to see, peace I out so I can go back for the and get first my time ever. Together. I'm picking you up from the airport in my hometown. So instead of you doing that for me, <laughs> yep. Fare thee well. Lanny, if, if his apartment is dirty, tell me. I will. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, don't. So you lose my job <laughs> to weaponize mother's guilt. <laughs> Stop weaponizing mother's guilt. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good aim of an episode if we ever weaponized mother's guilt. Wow. <laughs> weaponized mother's guilt. Oh no. It's like an engine of woes in Warhammer. I'd wow. say the doom bell, but that's fair. <laughs> oh, this is this this like, I think like dungeons are fun. This is my this first, is first dungeon. Dude, aren't they? They're pretty good. I I've, I've done it. No, not my first one. I haven't. I just haven't done one for you guys. So it's neat seeing you guys do a dungeon. Uh, I mean, you can die to eels, so that's uh, good. <laughs> Apparently, the ultimate enemy is eels. Uh, but yeah, okay, no. so let's do some. Too much that was funny. That the was, was interesting. By the way, Shmugan's so. already done it. Why are you? Why are you little? I'll show you for possessing my friend. <laughs> 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 All righty, we got some shout out, Penguin Man. Thank you for the hundred bits. Heckles, uh, heck, episode title: Heckle the Heckles the Greckle. Uh, episode, uh, episode idea is Heckled Greckles. That's it. That's a, I like that. What was that? Geist. What was that other one? The oh, first the, one. The, the, Geist. Culture Geist. Uh, that, well, that was so good. Strong. Let's yeah, keep going. Was, we got some other names in here. Saijin. <laughs> And the buggy, uh, yeah, yeah, I already read that one off. Ah, uh, Reckless Bunny, give it 100 bits. Last minute snap for the good boy. Thank you so much, at Reckless Bunny. Zach Dua, 1,000 bits, Retribution Ball Kick. 1,000 bits. Probate with 5,000 bits. Greckles, Professional Dick Kicker. Thank you for the 5,000 bits, Probate. Yasasumi, 200 bits. Cheer, cheer. Paladin <laughs> Borace, well shit, 100 bits. Winter Rain, 200 bits. Screw it, last of my bits, because Monty's acting is great. Yeah, good job today, but that Poltergeist character was fucking funny, Nadine. Doubleganger really Hunter, is. gifting a sub to Kai Yuck. Yeah. And Equinox 4, thank you for the 500 bits. Okay, got more to go through here, guys. Don't worry, I'll get through these here. Uh, <clears throat> Probate with another 5,000 bits. Episode name, In a Foul Mood. Jesus. F O W L. Mm, it's not bad. That, it, it's not. It's not. It's, oh, that's not bad. It's not bad. Probably thinking again for the five thousand bits. Ken and Eldari, nine month resub. Oh snap! Nine months. Thanks everyone for making this stream awesome. I gotta get to work, so I'll catch the rest of you on the VOD. Thanks, Ken and Eldari. Pupasa Monkey, thank you for gifting that sub to Schmuggin for five months. Awesome. And oh my goodness. Okay, uh, Schmuggin. Sorry. I. Oh no! It updated, so it's reset. Mother of God. Uh, Joanna, thank you for the four month resub. SF Cody, thank you for the sub. Eric King W, okay, thank you very much. Uh, those are the bits. And lovely L'Oreal, -E, thank you for 51, thank you for the 200 bits. This is fucking Dick Kit Castle. Kind of is. Kind of is. And Equinox 4, <laughs> some row bits with 500 bits. Okay, we have to come up with an episode title, guys. We gotta. Poultry. We have to I go think with poultry guys. Poultry guys is good. Yeah, yeah poultry guys is poultry guys. But, okay, so I gotta address what happened in the beginning of this damn stream. Uh. I want to personally thank Probate. Um, holy shit, dude. I do not need to stress about paying my sister forever. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Oh, no. Is, is, you're going to charge me more that's now. That's good. Okay. Just... Just, just be sure no, to do it. No, 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 no. Just, just be sure to do it in England <laughs> so you have a high tax bracket. Yeah, yeah. no. That's I where I'm be, concerned at the moment. Uh, Probate, thank you for the combined... Five hundred and twenty thousand bits. Huh. Yeah. Ah. That's a, that's a ah. little record breaker. Ah. I will be playing Blood Bowl with you next week. Why are you playing Blood Bowl? <laughs> You're gonna be kicking my ass in blood. <laughs> Good I gotta get, get, I gotta get into Bowl. that. Oh boy. I got I I I got mad because I was playing against computers that play, cheat. I want to play against people. Against people? Well, oh. I'll, 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 we'll see what their schedules bring on because we kind of stream at the same time, but we'll see if we, something matches up there. But, uh... 
Three, two, one, go. Wait, Monty is your sister? Dun, 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 Every dun, 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 dun is just another shot of snake. Dun, 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 dun. I really yeah. want that. Like, oh, really speaking of really senile snake, it. snake, where can they find you, man? They can find me on Twitter at senile snake. They can find me on Twitch, senile snake with a three instead of an yeah. A at the end. Freaking cool! I'm looking forward to more of your rocksmith streams. Now, where, where? Yeah. I'm looking forward to hurting my fingers with ridiculous bending Where that can nobody does. People find you, Zito. Where can they find you? You you can find me at twitch.tv slash Zito uh, tomorrow since the new Monster Hunter update went out today. I'm obviously not going to stream it tonight. Tomorrow was supposed to be art. I'm gonna push that to Friday because yeah. I wanna get in on new shit. So, tomorrow will be Monster Hunter, Friday will be art, Sunday, who the fuck knows? Now, Goomba. Yep. Where can they find you? You, you can find me here congrats at Gaijin Goomba. Congrats on the partner, by the way, mate. Uh, well, yeah, congrats, yeah, for, for people that, that got in late, uh, I do have a few emotes up. I'm working on five more getting approved. One of them keeps getting not approved, even though it's within the you know the, the right realm anyway um also be sure to swing by my youtube channel uh despite a lot of people saying that Why they thought i stop? quit making content like eight months ago i've made content everywhere it's like the best thing to hear right god damn it no don't like, do i want to kick I you in the balls in real life i swear <laughs> no i don't <laughs> all right but yeah that's that that's where you can find me uh zito do you have do, will you have some extra room in that stream tomorrow Ooh. i don't see why not because I've got to get up on that as well. Getting Sounds fine. Murdering. Hey, listen, it's a gold dragon. I apparently found out it's feet. Gold queen dragon. I love it. That's cool. <gasps> Probate with another 5,000 oh. bits. One last shot for the night. Feeding feeding that Bang. good boy. Probate, thank Hell you so much hurt. for the 5,000 bits. <laughs> yeah, so if you... <laughs> Jesus. So yeah, yeah, guys. And if you want to get in on that, you can commence the wiggling with Wiggler Squad. I need to make a T-shirt. I, I need to make a fucking T-shirt. You should. I'm I'm, I'm actually gonna Burned be burdened up if it's okay with you. Okay, there's one bird. Okay, you and uh, you and Boo both do that. It's just like, hey, I'm here, guys. There's like Burned one up. chicken amongst all the Wigglers. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> just like. I, I can't help but feel like there's a traitor, backstabber, or spy amongst us. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> can birds yeah. wiggle? Yeah, they can. Dude, have you, have you ever seen that gif of that long <laughs> cockapo? Yeah, I, like, I know. I'm just being a shit because I'm just like, now I just imagine a coolie coo with like its jowls wiggling about. <laughs> <laughs> Monty, where can they find oh, you? Well. <laughs> Uh, you can find me at Monty Glue uh, on Twitter. I'm mostly just posting videos of my fish and occasional random things. With moving, I'll probably update my Twitter with the moving progress. Um, and then uh, you can find me at Twitch, uh, twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue, uh, where I'm doing a Pokemon Nuz Nuzlocke right now, and I will be doing hopefully an art stream tomorrow, which I'm feeling a lot better. So, oh, awesome. Uh, probate with an 11 so, yeah. month resub, one month before a year. Oh my God, it's almost been a year since I started streaming. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I know, right? But That's been a hell of a year, you know? It's been a great goddamn year for it. Probate, thank you so much for all your continued support. And, uh, <laughs> Probate, I will be talking to you because I'm going to be playing some Blood Bowl with you next week. So who wants to see, if you want to, speaking of that, uh, I'll be continuing on uh, Warhammer has changed next week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And, of course, we'll have the fan art showcase on uh, Monday. And, of course, the other specials will be on Wednesday. But uh, if you want to see Probate kick my goddamn ass in Blood Bowl, definitely come there on Tuesday and Thursday because you'll be oh. seeing that live. Uh, from all of us here at the Unexpectables, thank you so much for all the support that you send our way, guys. We love doing this. This genuinely doesn't feel like work. It's so much fun having fun and making jokes, which is why people get sometimes worried that we're actually mad at each other. No, we're just in character. It's a lot of fun.
Not at all. It's it is all for... in character. It's for the no, japery. No, no, you... Except for me, I'm always That's... mad. Not joking. But... Uh, <laughs> we'd like to, I'd like to raid someone here, and there's someone in particular I'd like to raid tonight. Um, when I first, when we were first starting out, uh, a couple, only a couple people from other uh, streams kind of reached out to us who did uh, D D streams, and one of them was Mick Loken, and his lovely wife actually designed uh, the Taurus, who's Taurus, who's got that jar in his mouth, and the really cool. Uh, you know, border we have here. And he's streaming right now. And he doesn't stream that often because he's had to, like, kind of... He's got to try and change up his schedule here. But we'd like to... I'd like to raid McLoken. And I think it would be really awesome if we can go in there and send him some good vibes. So, guys, from all of us here at The Unexpectables, cool. thank you so much. And please check out our individual Twitch streams, too, because everyone's got their own flavor. And it's all delicious. Alrighty. Talk to you guys later. Later. Bye, Bye guys. Bye-bye.